Just get to know Cindy. You would like her, I promise you, Mom. You would get to fall in love with her. Mom, you would come to love and appreciate the person that she is. Mom, do you know she's really so nice that even her enemies are tests to her niceness? I'm telling you the truth. Mom, please. I just want us to live in peace. Stop raining curses on this beautiful woman that I have that I have married. Please. In your stupidity, you believe that beauty is the only thing a man needs in a wife. Little, I'm your mother. Listen to me. I am your mother. What exactly am I going to be listening to at this point? I already married this woman. I'm just asking that we live in peace. And I'm telling you that the women of Mugama, they are not only lazy, but they are naturally wayward. Your so-called wife will bring a curse to this family. I warned you. I warned you you wouldn't listen to me. You insisted and married her. Mom. Come on now. That's too much. I'm accommodating all that you have said because you're my mom. That's too much. Stop threatening the woman that God in his infinite mercy have put in my hands. Mom, I love my wife and she equally loves me. We love each other, mom. Let's find a way to live in peace. Okay? Can we just, can we, you know what? Okay, how about we do it this way? Can, we, can you just pretend that we don't exist? Yeah. I mean, you have all of this to yourself. I built this house for you just so that you are happy. Can you just leave my wife and I alone so that we can live happily? Is that possible, Mom? Can you do that? Huh? And what are you trying to do? No, tell me. What are you trying to do? You're trying to walk away on me? I called you here to make a case against a woman who represents backwardness, poverty and adultery. And you want to walk out on me? No, Mom, you called me here to ridicule my wife and disrespect me, Mom. That's why you called me here, but I have work to do. Please let me go. Yes, hello. Mr. K, do you have good news for me? I will tell you something positive when one happens. Oh, listen, listen, listen! When you call yourself Mr. K, parody, you know all things. What is difficult in a man getting a woman? This one is not just a woman. She gives you the impression that she's with you. But then, one discovers she's very far. Oh, shut up! Listen. I paid you to do a job for me. I paid you completely. I don't want to hear stories. I'm not interested in your tales. Do this job and do it well. Don't call my number if you don't have any good news for me. Uh, just, just keep quiet. Don't call my number if you don't have any good news for me. Rubbish. Only a fool kills a woman. I will not kill this woman because I am not a fool. I don't understand. Are you ever going to tell me what's going on? I, I mean, your mother is my mother-in-law and I am your wife. Why would you ask me to be wary of her? I have told you the much that you need to know. Okay. Why can you not just walk with this piece of information? Why, why are you asking for necessary information? You don't need it. Oh, come on, Nats. Don't play it like this. This is a serious issue. You have to tell me what's going on. All right, look, my mother does not like you. What? There you have it. She doesn't like you. She hates you. I have tried the best that I can to convince her to see that you're a good person. She, she won't listen. She would stop at nothing to have you and I separated. She doesn't like you. But listen, you have to believe me, all right? I know Madame Vero. I know how devious she can be. Trust me. Do the best that you can to stay away from her. Just be careful. I beg you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please, babe. 
I love you with all my heart, but please, please, just be careful. I know she must have upset you to the limits where you can't take it anymore, but that's no reason to refer to her as Madame Vero. She's still your mother. Yeah, she's my mother, and I respect her. Does she respect you? Does she respect my wife? My wife is me, my wife is my life. Whoever does not respect her, I cannot tolerate. What she's doing is not right. But it's still your mother we're talking about. But well, has she carried herself like a mother? Does she treat you like a mother? No. I can't believe that we're staying up talking about this with her. Let's sleep. Okay? Okay, we'll sleep. I'll just know that I love you forever, okay? Baby, you know I love you too. I'll always protect you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Me. It's my son at all. Well, that don't come out. Uh -huh. What about that witch? Is she in? Madame Nawish. Ma ma Madame, you don't confuse me. You mean say Madame Nawish? Are you expecting me to answer that question? You are a fool. Is she inside? Mm, never to tell where she come back from gym. She did inside. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, peace of mind. I don't tell how this kind of biscuit. I need a like them. They, they buy me this kind of biscuit. I got on a biscuit. Biscuit to my in the good time. I don't understand. Where is all this coming from, Mom? When did you start having a problem with me? Since you used your diabolic power as a woman of Umugama to bewitch my son. Let me make this clear to you. You will never find peace in this life. Why are you laying a curse on me? What did I do wrong? You get lost with your recourse to sentiment because you can never weaken a woman like me. I begged you not to marry my son. I pleaded with you. You insisted and married him. Now tell me, since you married my son, what good has come out of this marriage? I love your son. Our marriage is blessed. Oh, shut that thing you call mad. Shut it up! Whatever you feel you're doing with my son is not blessed. For I am the mother who should bless this union. I did not bless it, so it can never be blessed. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You think you can weaken me with those crocodile tears of yours? Let me tell you something. When it comes to crying, you are nowhere near me. You and your people, you are bad news. It's quite unfortunate that my son allowed himself to be caught in your web. But let me tell you something. Very soon, it will be over. I promise you. And you, and you think this is the right time to talk about this as women? Why do you hate me so much? Because I want you to live here in peace. Before something terrible happens to you, then you will start calling the devil. Leave the devil out of us. Because you are the devil here. Just get your loose body out of this place. It is life in your place. It is not life in our place. Mama, mama, mama. 
shaking and move. I pray for peace of mind. Oh, let her know that I am not what she thinks I am. Mama, mama, I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Should we stand here talking? Why not let me in? Then we can talk as we cruise. Talk as we cruise. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you mean. I like the way you say that. Come in. Baby girl, I saw your missed call. Hope all is well. All is not well. I needed to speak to someone. I know it must be that troublemaker you have as a mother-in-law. What did she do this time? She's piling undue pressure on my husband. She's trying to break my marriage up. It boils down to the same thing I've been saying. She is trouble and she has to be handled. I don't know what you're talking about. But I think the only thing that can actually change your mind is me giving her a grandchild. But I don't know why I've not been able to get pregnant. Do not disappoint me by telling me that you're suspecting her. Nothing is wrong with you, Cindy. And I will advise you to go and see another doctor. Seriously, you can never rely on one doctor. I know. I told my husband that too. Hopefully we'll see a doctor this week. Good. Do not ever play into her hands. A child will definitely come and he or she will silence her forever. I hope so too. Now let me run along, okay? And do learn to answer your phone whenever it rings. Yes, ma. My love is strong. My heart is yours. Yeah, you're so sweet. What do you mean? Um, a lot of things are better left unsaid. Thanks for the right in the way. You're such a kind man. Thank you very much for the kind words. It's fine. So you've thanked me enough, all right? Uh, you, you have. You have to go. I'm, I'm run, running off for an important meeting. Wow. Serious business, man. It's written all over you. But I would like to thank you in a very special way. Thanks, but um, no thanks. I'll pass. Okay, just, um, just go. Right, I'm running late as a matter of fact. I have a business meeting um, to catch up. You can't say no to this. I mean, why, there's no other better way to say thank you other than to allow you to enjoy this. Oh, thank you very much. I'm not interested, lady. Can you just please? All right. You don't know what you mean. Can you just please leave? I'm just being kind and uh, easy. You think I'm cheap, right? Very difficult for a start. But I'll soon get you where you belong. say that. No, I'm just waiting for a program to start, a program that involves my friend. Well, that I'm good looking is not good enough. I need to have my own child so I can be called a woman. Oh, uh, hey. welcome my husband. How are 
are you? I'm good. Mm. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. Mm. How was the day? It was okay. What did you get up to? Nothing. Nothing out of ordinary. Come on now, you don't tell me you were just sitting there waiting for me to return from work. What did you do today? I, um, it's just that your mom came around. She was here. And then she messed your day up. Nat, I never said that. I just wanted to remind you about going to see a doctor. Baby, give me your hand. You know I love you. With all of my heart. I want you to learn not to allow the words of my mother bother you because I really don't care how anyone sees you. This is not about your mother. This is about us. I, I, I need to know why we can't reproduce. We need to know if there's anything wrong. Well, fine, baby. We will reproduce. A child will come at the right time. This is the right time. This is the right time. This is... I, I, I want to have my children now. I, I want to have them while I'm young. Please. It's been a long day and I'm tired. I'm very hungry, baby. Did you make food? Nathan, please don't shrug this off. I, I won't let you do this to me again. I'm not shrugging it off, baby. I'm just hungry. And now you call me Nathan because what? My mom came here and messed your mood up. No. What? My love, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I, I want us to see a new doctor. That there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you too, baby. Please. Well, seeing a new doctor make you happy. Yes. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. And the more the mills and all the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. The more the mills and all the more. Babe, babe, babe. Mm -hmm. well, who's calling you at this time? I don't know. I'm not going to answer. Same thing you don't get from that. Hmm. You guys should keep stabbing yourself in the name of trying to stay slim for your man. Men, don't see Cheeto. We are not complaining, hmm. Belinda. Anyway, show me a woman 
who is working so hard to stay slim for her man. And I will show you a woman who will never be happy. Man, they will still break your heart. But Bele Belinda, must you always preach the same thing? Listen, women stick to a man because it's the right thing to do. Okay? A man that will cheat will still cheat. Exactly. My bad. I'm so sorry. No, I'm used to locking doors, but no worries. I'll get that for you, okay? okay. Hello, Kitty. You're welcome. Where is my wife? Oh, uh, come on. Stop acting like a baby. Your wife is inside and you have nothing to worry about, okay? I came to get the dog for you. Okay. Um, step aside and let me go in. Sure. I'll let you go inside, but I have just one question for you. Do you know I've been crushing on you for so many years? Like... I've been on this for so long that I'm looking forward to the day that you and I will crush it out together. And that day is going to be the most memorable day of your life. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Now, can I just go in? Can, can you step aside? Can I go in? Sure. You could go inside. Um, what? Let us know that um, this could be all yours. As if you decide to be nice to me. Darling, welcome home. <laughs> what took you so long? Uh, nothing. I was just on the phone outside. So where's Belinda? I don't know. I'm here, baby. I was actually checking out your car. Girl, your car is too old now. You need a oh, new car. Please, just stop, okay? I'm tired. I need to rest. Okay. It's okay. I'll see you soon. Of course, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, Cindy, your husband is so wretched. How do you even cope with him? And how is that your business? Uh -huh. Is she complaining to you? You know what, ladies? Just ignore her. This is exactly why she is still single. <laughs> so if you ladies would excuse me, I'd like to go attend to my husband. Oh, baby. Uh, we already know what you're up to. Belinda. Hey. Babe, come now. I'm missing you. Babe. You didn't hear I was coming. Come on, give me the food now. Come on, give me the food now. What? I'm cooking. What are you cooking? I'm um, making you food. I'm making your meal here. No, that's not the food I'm talking about. The food here. Okay, listen. 
I will just leave this food here now. I will not make you food, and then hunger will change this your ring tune. I don't care. This is not the food. You are the real. You are the real meal. Come on. I'm serious, so. I'm serious too. Hunger will finish you today. Oh, come now. Come oh. on, give me. Come on, give me. Oh, leave me now. Well, I've been begging. I've been since yesterday night. Like, uh -uh. I've, been, I've been feeling some type is, of. Is it food? It's food. Ah! <laughs> okay, how That's do you the, want it? How do you want it? Talk to me, I change my mind. How do you need it? Okay, just, yeah. like the, just as I am now. Just the, yeah. the way I'm like this. Just the way like this now. Babe. You are so sport. Leave me alone. How am I sport? Go, 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 okay, go on. You can still be cutting this or you won't. No, leave me alone. Yeah? See, stay like, my phone. Wait, wait, wait. Keep this time. <laughs> oh, Give me wait, wait, wait. My phone is ringing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> That's my mother. Don't pick me. Oh, don't take me. Be important. No, leave my mama. You know, mama is. I will tell her you said I should answer. I'll tell her. She's going to mess your mood up, babe. Don't pick me. Hello, mama. Hello, Cindy. Guess what? What? Chama has given birth again. The third child. Do you remember that you married before her? Such an irony. The baby boy is so cute. You're going to see them soon. Hello? Are you there? I said the baby boy is very cute. And this is the third child she's having for her husband. I said I should jubilate with them all since mine seem impossible. Babe, I told you. I had to take the call. Now you see. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll be fine, okay? Our own child will come. All right. gonna go through this one. A child will come and just make everything complete. I need you to just get that thought out of your mind for now. Get it out of my mind. Please. How can I? How can I when your mom constantly nags and throws a tantrum and calls me a witch at every given opportunity? How can you do I know that you're not a witch? I, I, I so that you are my life. You are my blessing. Ignore her. Right? Get it out of your head, baby, please. Please. Nathan. Babe. Nathan. Yes, babe. Please. Please. Let's go see another doctor. At least let's let's see you find out if there's anything wrong with us. If that would make you happy, yes, I'll do it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, I have come to appeal to you in the name of God. Leave Cindy alone. Okay? Leave that girl alone. Yes, leave her alone for me. Okay, since I married that girl, I have known nothing but joy and blessings. Please. Huh? You want me to fold my hands and watch her destroy you? Is that what you want? Just tell me, what are you talking about? You're talking about a girl that you don't even know. She, she, she's a nice person. She's decent. She can't hurt me. I'm not saying she will purposely hurt you. No, I'm not saying that. It's from their root. They can't help it. These people are bad news. Mom, you see that big contract, that big break that I got, okay, that made me the man that I am today? Cindy. Mom, you see this man that everyone loves? Oh, Nathan the good man, the one that you're proud of as a mother. It's because of my wife. Why have you refused to see the light in that girl? Light? What light? Why can't you open your eyes and see what I am saying? I don't see it, Mom. I choose to be blind to the things that you see because you don't know her. You don't even know me anymore. You're making up stories in your head, Mom. And it's not good for me. It's not good for my wife. Stop it, Mom. Cindy is the light of my life. Leave my wife alone for me. Please. If you had married Sandra, 
we won't be having this issue today. You know that. Are we talking about Sandra again, Mom? I made it clear. I can't have a, a woman like that for a wife. I, I never loved her. I still don't. I don't care about her, Mom. Do you not understand? But she didn't even give her the chance. Just try it. Give her the chance. If it doesn't work, I won't disturb you again. Mom, are you talking in present tense? Do you realize that I'm married? Mom, I am a married man. No, you are not. Oh, I'm very married. Oh, no, you are not married. Rather, what you have in your house is a time bomb. Take it to explode and blow it into smithereens. Is that what you want? Is that? It's just impossible, ma'am. It's just impossible. It was pointless coming here in the first place. Let me go. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more the bears are no the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. You're literally undressing me with your eyes. Uh, so tell me, when has it become a crime for one to admire the wonderful creature of the Almighty? This is the place, right? Ah, yes, darling. Thank you for being a sweetheart. And it's high time you realize that I'm actually a married woman. <laughs> you know, you are just too nice that I keep wondering when this niceness we translate into something really good and beautiful. So what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> see who's back. My wife left the husband all by himself. I'm sorry now. I thought you'd spend time with the guys. <laughs> sorry. Where did you go? I went to Juliet's place. She wasn't feeling well. Ah, uh, what's the problem? I don't know. She did a test. The result isn't out yet. Okay. I hope she gets better. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. I missed you. Missed you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was hungry. Oh. But I made something. <gasps> you did? What did you make? Jollof rice. <gasps> you don't want to try this jollof rice. Just the way I like it. Jollof rice, fried chicken. Uh, with carrots, you know, Thank you. Mm -hmm. the way you love mm -hmm. it, taste mm -hmm. some taste. Mm -hmm. fried, fried, I'm I going to taste. Are fried. you serious? Did you put pepper? Uh, Did you put pepper? Who don't like pepper? Hey! Take me back. <laughs> because you are a fantastic cook. You are hungry. <laughs> Come on now, Mom. Do you realize what you're suggesting? You will do it. I have tried to make you see reasons with me, but you wouldn't. Now, you will do it. I promise I won't disturb you again. Mom, listen. You're not going to make me cheat on my wife, okay? I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to cheat on my wife. I won't do it. Why do you want to kill me before my time? Why? I didn't kill my mother. Why do you want to kill me? Can you just stop with the theatrics? Stop. No one is dying. Okay? No one is dying here. 
it, don't blackmail me. I want to do it. I'm not asking you to sleep with Sandra. Just get to know her, that's all. Alright. Yes, Mom. I'll just come around tomorrow and, and, and see the piece of land and I'll let you know um, if it's something we should do. Ah, uh, yes, Mom. Yeah. I'm sure he cut off my call because of that law. How else will I throw her out of his life? Land. What land? Oh. Well, you know my mom how how dramatic she can be. She was talking to me about that. I'm certain there's no piece of land anywhere. She just wants attention. Eh? What can I do to prove myself to her? Nothing. You should do nothing to prove nothing to anyone. Okay, you and I have proven ourselves to each other, and that's all that matters, baby. I love you just the way you are. Mm? Don't worry about mama. She's going to come around. Mm? She doesn't have a choice. Now you're asking for trouble now. You know how I get when you touch me like that? Mm? You know how I get when you touch me like that? Uh, I just might scoop you up and mm? take you into the bedroom. You know, I don't see why you're here. Honestly. I think you should leave. Oh yes, I think you should leave. You know, before my wife returns and sees you here, you should go. Oh please, Nathan. You know your wife is not coming back anytime soon. So get your wife out of this. You know, instead of all the stalkings, why don't you make use of the time and the opportunity we have? Time, spend some time with me. Everyone will be happy. Is this what you want to do with yourself? Huh? Is this all that you want to do with, with your existence? Seducing married men? Do you not think you're playing a fool by allowing my mom use you for this purpose? Well, I really know that. You see, I, I know you want me. And I want you to. Hmm? Just tell me how much you want me. No, just stop, right? Stop, 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 right? Nothing will ever happen between you and I just stop. Okay, stop. What is your problem? What is it with you? Why are you so stubborn and rigid? Do you know how many guys out there who would want to spend some time with me? Just because I like you? I don't like you. I don't want you. I don't want to spend time with you. Why don't you go look for those who want you? Yeah. Look for them. Leave me alone. You have the traits and attributes of a playboy. Why aren't you playing? It can make you feel better, trust me. If your wife has got nothing on you by the time I'm true with you. So do you want to have some money? Stop touching me. Get your hands off me. I'm not a playboy, I'm a married man. Married to a woman who loves him wholeheartedly. Alright? Don't come here again to do this. If you try, I cannot guarantee you that I'll be the same. This is the nicest I'll be about this. Okay? Get up. I'm, I'm a man I can't Get more. up. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the bears are no the more. Peace of mind. I'm, I'm a man I can't more. I pray for peace of mind. Hey, babe. Yeah, Who was that lady? Oh, someone from my mom. 
came to take a message from her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, she... What? Have you eaten? It's waiting for you to come make it happen, baby. Oh, my baby. Uh, Don't worry. I'll make it happen now, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. You chill. Sit down. No, don't come with me. <laughs> Sit, I'll be right back. <laughs> I love this world. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My morning star. The air I breathe. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Never. Never will I allow you to destroy yourself. Never. Over my dead body. Will I allow you to continue to wallow in bad luck and non productivity? Mom, I'm productive. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm comfortable. I'm not complaining. You don't know what you're talking about. I can see you under a spell. Mom, I'm not under a spell. If you're talking about my wife, I'll have you know that my wife is the best thing that has happened to me since we got married. That's a fact, Mom, that you have refused to accept. But I'll keep drumming it into your head. And you accept. Okay? Please, just leave us alone. Huh? I'm, I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, demand the no the more. Peace of mind. Are you sitting down? Ha. Mom. Ha. You are my son. My only son. I'm your mother. You know I want the best for you. I'm not saying you should marry Sandra outrightly. I'm only just asking you give her a chance. Stop acting cold towards her by sending her away. Really, Mom? Mom, I'm a married man. Happily married. Another fact that you have refused to accept, but I will keep drumming it into your head until you accept it. The more you keep saying that, the more it dawns on me that you're not intelligent. I'm not intelligent, Mom. Really? I'm not intelligent yet. I'm the president of the Society of Nigerian Chartered Quantity Surveyors. I'm not intelligent and I'm successful enough to take care of you. Have you looked at yourself, Mom? You look good. All me, my success, it speaks of intelligence, mom. I'm a man who knows what he wants. And I want Cindy. Stop coming here to make us unhappy, mom. I love my wife and she loves me too. We are happy. Please, I won't stop. I'll keep telling you. Huh? Until you get it. Please, learn to give us some space and some peace. Eh, mom, try, 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 try. I'm, I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, amen the no Hey, baby. The best of your quantity of all time. How was your day? Oh. Ice work. What are you doing here? I brought you food. I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? Nathan, I just want you to eat and be happy. I'm not asking for anything in return. Took all my time to prepare this for you. This this looks good. Thank you. Oh yes, it does. And that brings me to why I keep wondering why you would find a man for yourself, one who would love you, take care of you, make you happy. Why you have decided to subject yourself to my mother's machinations and waste your time? I am not wasting my time, Nathan. 
I love you. Don't you understand? I don't want any other man. I want you. So now get this very dirty idea out of your head. Nothing will ever happen between you and I. You're sitting on my work table. I'd like for you to get up now. This right here is not the best place for this. Leave. Wow, wonderful. So why don't you tell me where you want us to go? Where would you want to have your food? Anywhere of your choice. It will never happen. Nathan, please, I, I, I want you. Get up. Don't make me get you up, you know me. Yeah, get up. Don't tell me you don't get like what you're saying. Up. You see, Nathan, I came from your background. Never give up background. You are sweet. And sweet things are for me. Think it's funny. It's not. Tell me, is this why we're here? Because of the swimming pool or because of the lousy environment? You call it lousy? Stop. This is really nice. Huh? You see, I was working in the office and then you came bothering me with your troubles. Alright? Distracting me. Now I am here to make you happy and you're all grouchy. Why? <laughs> I am not in the mood for any outdoor outing. Come on, Fiki Nathan. Do you mind rising above this show? Rigid lifestyle and at least appreciate a lady just for once. You know, it would be nice. Or don't you think so? You know, I'm really trying very hard to be nice to you. Yeah. Because of the background that you come from. I respect that a lot. Alright? But you see, I would not allow you to make me lose it. I really want to be nice to you today. Yeah. If you want something, you want to drink, you want to nibble on something, tell me. The bill is on me, I'll take care of it. Okay? So, here it is. So, what's it going to be? Nathan. What? Can we go to somewhere else? I mean, somewhere that we can have our private time. This is, this is some exterior place that I do not want to be. No, I, I like want to be here. inside with you, not here. I like it here. I already placed the other while we're walking in. So when they bring my order, you tell them what you want. I'll pay for it. I was at your office earlier today during break, but you were not there. Well, I was in a meeting. Why did you call me? I didn't want to disturb. Babe, you confessed. Everything in my life comes after you. You confessed. You should have called me. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. What did I miss? What's up? Nothing. I just wanted to get the test results. Ah! I missed that one. That's true. The test results. Mm -hmm. So what's up? What happened? They didn't want to give me the results. So they said I had to come with you. Hmm. Okay, but they gave it to you anyway, so... The doctor said it was against their policies. Honestly, that... Um, <coughs> now what? That honestly, they, they couldn't give it to me. It was only based on personal recognition that they gave it to me. I'm telling you. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. What did the results say? You got it, but what did it finally say? Look at you. Why are you now so eager? I thought you didn't want to go before. You didn't want to. You didn't want to get the test result before. Oh well, yeah, it's kind of easy, you know, to not be eager if you haven't gone for this test. But as soon as you walk in there for the test, you want to know what it says. So well, let me know. What's up? I said the same thing the other doctor said. Ah. I said that we're okay, yeah. nothing is wrong with us, okay. and that babies will come on babies. Will. You worry too much, and that you should relax, that things will take shape. I, I didn't say anything, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying that whole thing. Get to the bathroom, go shut up this way, this way, this way. Oh, yeah, stop bullying me, baby. Go and shower. Ignored you after what I told him. I wish he just ignored me. Did you tell him that 
treat me like I'm, I'm, I'm some debt, like I wasn't even a 16. Don't worry. He will come around. I know him very well. He likes initial shakara, but he would definitely submit. Are you sure? Because I, I just feel like he doesn't like anything about me. Like I'm wasting my time with him. Trust me, he loves and respects you. If not, he would have slept with you and abandoned you. He knows he won't forget you if he goes down with you. Trust me, if you listen, it's a plus for you. I think I like the interpretation we just get this. In that case, I will get him to be where I want him to be. Exactly. If possible, drink some fertility pills so you can take him immediately. If that happens, he has no choice but to marry you. Mama, <laughs> Madam Vero, the society. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you talk, I, I, I see the reason why you are where you are. You are so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know once you're related. That's all. Thank you so much. I will. Just, just Stop. One. Why, why do you keep biting me? I, 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 are you an animal? Just one. I don't want. I'll bite you back. I'll bite you here. I'll bite you back. I'll bite you here. I'll bite you back. Just you just picture. finished doing one, not like an hour ago. You want to do another one again? Exactly, an hour ago. Stop. Yeah, the momentum is back. There's a problem. We what have to problem? go and check to make sure that we are not taking. Yeah. We are not taking. Yes, your phone is ringing. I have an answer. So important. No answer. No, I cannot. Really, babe, I'm. I'm I'm up to something. I'm up to something. what? I'm up to something. Yeah, I'm up to something. Answer it or I'll take it for you. Take what? Let me go and answer the call. I beg you now. Oh, yeah, answer your I'm call. about to do something. Do now. what? Shit happened. Give me one. Just... I'll not give Let me you. just raise this up. Not, eh? Not today, tomorrow. Oh. You were busy, but she, she insisted, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Mita, what is the meaning of this? I mean, I used to walk into your office and see you without any interruptions. What is going on? Sandra. Did you leave an instruction with your secretary not to let me into your office? Sandra, this is an office. This is a workplace. This is not a playground or a hair salon when you stroll into when you feel like it. Maybe if you had picked up my calls, I would not be here. Why are you so dumb? What do you want? Why are you here? Can you not see that there is nothing here for you? We shall see about that. Get up and leave my office. There is nothing here for Lita, you. What is your problem? What is it? I am not asking you to make me your second wife or your, or your girl or something. I'm just asking you to show me some respect and acknowledge me as I have right. shown you respect, Sandra. I have respected you, but you have refused to say it. So why we teach you that much? I mean, am I that bad looking? No. You're beautiful, quite attractive, but unfortunately, unintelligent. 
Leave me alone. Why do you hate me so much, Nita? Why do you like treating me like I'm, I have some virus or some sickness or something? This is not fair. What have I done wrong? Leave my office, Sandra, before I call security on you. Now. You can't possibly do that, Nathan. I am here to see you and I am ready. I am not ready, Sandra. Never will be ready for anything with you. Okay? Leave me alone. Get out of my office. Get out! Get out, Sandra. Don't worry, I will handle this. Don't, mother, just, just stop telling me to, to, to don't worry. I am already worried, can't you see it? He needed to have said the way he threw me out of his office. Like, 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 like I'm, it, it. I'm, 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 I'm just fired, I'm tired. I'm tired of all this. Just give me this last time. I will handle him. He's my son. You're not doing anything at all. I just want to go back to the States. Or better still call my mom. Oh, come on. It hasn't got into that. Your mom must not know about this. Please. I will handle him. I promise. I have a plan. I am tired. Madame Vero, I am tired. I came back from the States because of him. Now he is treating me like this. This is not fair. For the last time, I have a plan. Madame Vero, you better have a plan. Because I do not understand why I'll be forcing myself on a man who doesn't even want me. Treating me like I'm some puppet. I'm not going to take it anymore, please. Oh. It's all this. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, my dear. Don't worry. I will handle him, okay? Don't worry. Where is she? Where is she? Where is that bad luck woman that has refused to give me a grandchild? Where is she? Where are you? Nothing good. There's nothing good about you. Where is she? Good afternoon, Mama. Oh, here you are. Doing what you know how to do best. Wasting my son's money. Are you not tired of bringing stagnation into this family? Leave my son alone so he can progress. Welcome, Mama. Welcome, kill you there. Welcome, kill you there. You think I'm your husband you can deceive with your pretentious lifestyle? Listen, let me tell you. You will not succeed. Leave my son alone so he can forge ahead. Mama. In case you have forgotten, and, and this is my home, I am not going to leave my husband. You will be sent out of this house by your husband. I promise you that. What is my offense? You married my son against my wish. There is nothing as grave as that. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the most. Son, this girl is from a decent background. They are rich. She's intelligent and very beautiful. What is wrong with you? She is materialistic. She is uncultured. She has no respect. She is rude. She has a gutter behavior, mom. I cannot deal with a woman like that. Come on, son. All this comes with the package. She is born into wealth. I don't get it. Do you know if you marry this girl? Our generation will never lack. Is it that you are addicted to bad luck or you just don't like good things? I don't get it. Are you lacking? Mom, look at yourself. Are you lacking? Are you not well taken care of? By who? By me. Mom, for a young man who was born into nothing, I can tell you confidently that I'm doing very well. See where we're coming from and see where we are. I do not need a woman like that in my life, Mom. I am married. And happy. Why do you want to kill me before my time? Why? Do you want to kill me? Or would you rather kill me before my time, Mom? How has your day been? Oh. Get off me! You've 
needed to see the look on your face. So you think I left all I was doing to be here just to offer myself to you on a platter? Nah, nah, nah. If that's not the case, then why are you here? Stop thinking so highly of yourself. Or you think you're worth all the adventure? You have not told me why you're here. Because if you are worth all that adventure, then your trophy wife will not be seen frolicking around with a man in town. Belinda, you're making noise in my office. Get to the point. Why are you here? Nathan, I saw your wife coming out from a hotel in town. This good-looking, handsome young man with nice abs, well built. Really good-looking young man. Stop being silly. You don't have to descend so low as to talk trash about your friend. It's unnecessary. What has come over you? Why are you like this now? Huh? Nothing has come over me, darling. And that's a rhetorical question. So you expect me to answer that? You expect me to answer that question. You better go back home and ask your wife what she was doing in a hotel with a man. That's a lie. I know my wife. Stop it. If you have nothing else to say, please leave. I've played my part. If you like, keep defending her. That's your choice. Welcome. How are you earlier today? Um, I went to that meeting I told you about. What did the meeting hold? I was not very strong on that. Um, you don't plan. remember where you went to for oh. the meeting? <laughs> oh. What's the name of that restaurant on the You don't remember one? where you went to for a meeting? Tasty restaurant. That's where. Tasty Is restaurant. Is there anything the matter? I like to be left alone. My love is wrong, my heart is yours. Don't leave me, don't leave me. Cannot be true. My wife cannot be cheating on me. But why is she lying about the venue of the meeting? Why? Uh -huh. This can't be happening to me. No. How can she do a thing like this? This can't be happening. I, I trusted her. Cindy, I trust you with my life. Don't do this. How can she cheat on me? Must get to the root of this. Ah, my mother cannot be right. I must get to the root of this. Oh, darling, I'm off. Two. I told you I was hanging out with my friends. You were hanging out with who? My friends. Like this? Since when? <laughs> well, since Belinda made it a point of duty to intimidate all of us with her dressing. And you know now, your wife cannot carry laughs. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I'll be back before you know it, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. I just hope this... It's not true. No, she can't be lying to me. She, she, she's hanging out with her friends and, and not a man. Relax, Nathan. Relax. Trust your wife. She can't cheat on you. Trust your wife. She loves you. But wait. 
What if? I trust my wife. Yeah, I trust my wife. I trust my wife. Then when it happens, you start telling us the story of your life. How they slept with you and how it happened. Exactly. Well, I still have my drink, so that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> wait, wait. We've not even addressed the, the agenda for today's meeting. Any of girls want to get messed up already? The agenda for today's meeting is for Belinda oh. to show us who a man is. Belinda, we're tired of seeing you with different men. Show us your man. Yes, girl. We're dragging our names on the world. Get it, man. And stop sleeping around. Else, we'll deassociate ourselves exactly. from you. Hey. So, I am the agenda for the day. You guys are joking, right? No, girl, we're not. We're serious. Wow. So, you guys think your lives are perfect. And that's why you have the balls to walk into my apartment to tell me how to live my life. Darling, nobody's telling you how to live your life. We're only asking you to behave yourself and stop disgracing us. Huh. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Cindy, Cindy, my girl. So you are telling me that I, Belinda, the daughter of Fernandez Uzekoro, I'm disgracing you guys. Come on, Cindy. So you had the balls to connive with these things, these things, to come here and disgrace me, right? Okay, we shall see. Gio, calm down. Nobody's conniving with anybody. You're too big for this. Just change your ways. That's all. You know what? I'm done. When you finish with your alcoholism, you can get out of that place. Girl, I think we should leave her just like Mama. She refused to open the door for Wait, us. Dear, forget about Belinda Ozeko. Sit down. Tell me, who is that person that has been calling you continuously? Oh! <laughs> Girl, it's almost like there's some kind of spiritual perfume that I poured on my body that says, call this man. Come, 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 come. Anyway, I jump and pass. <laughs> Tell me something. What happened? It was not that day that my car broke down. I met some guy, Keo. He decided to drop me off. So nice. All of a sudden, story changed though. He started saying all sorts. I tried to get him off, but he has refused. Did you not see the ring on your finger or didn't you tell him you were married? A ring. That ring doesn't say anything anymore. I, initially, I didn't tell him, but he saw it. And I fulfilled all righteousness by telling him, but he refused. How? I don't even know how he knows where I jog. The route I go. There's the, the supermarket I go to, everywhere the guy is, like, is literally in my face. The other day I stopped at the supermarket to buy drinks. There he was, on my shoulder. This sounds dangerous. Are you sure he's not stalking you? I don't know, but honestly, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. He's just everywhere. He calls me every single time. I think you have to report to your husband. Eh? Yes. Report? Yeah. To who? Your husband. Nathan. Do you want him to die? <laughs> he will think that a man has taken me away already. Yeah. I can't tell him because he will blow it out of proportion. Anyway, that one ended. But as soon as that one ended, another one started with the same speed. In fact, with higher intensity. Hmm. In fact, I'm tired. Honestly, I, I tried to ward him off nicely and he still refused. This sounds dangerous to me. Are you sure he's not stalking you? I don't know. I, I've been so nice to him, telling him nicely that you know he should just leave me alone, that I'm married. But I don't know. He's just refused blatantly. You need to stop uh, being nice to them. 
You know, most times they mistake being polite to playing hard to get. And when they don't get what they want, they tend to be violent. Or would you want that? Honestly, you know that my job actually bars me from being rude to people. But as it is, I think I better take your advice and and be rude to them and, and do something. You just have to do something. This is not nice at all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. We're not welcome here anymore. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen, the more the males are no the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Now I'm scared. Oh, come on, see. There's nothing to be scared about. See, I know I messed up. And I'm here to apologize sincerely from my heart. I'm so sorry for, you know, messing up everything, ruining our reputation, and um, also being so annoying. Please, I'm sorry. From my heart. Wow. This is surprising. Cindy, I am truly sorry. Hmm? Yeah. This is unbelievable. I saw you outside. I, I thought you were going to pull out a gun to shoot me. Oh, come on. Is that how you see me? <laughs> Listen, girl. This visit, this apology is all coming as a huge, huge shock. But I told you I'm a changed person now. Honestly. And obviously we have to celebrate that. Sure. Can I sit for now? Sure. Thank you. Ah, there's this guy I saw you with the other day, coming out from a restaurant. What's going on? Oh, his name is Joe. Wow, Joe, that sounds sweet. Um, I think the guy actually looks as sweet as his name sounds. You are having fun. Oh, please, please, just come off it. He was asking me out and I said I wasn't interested that I'm married. I don't have anything to do with him. Really? Mm-hmm. Cindy, why are you talking like this? Please have fun. Enjoy yourself now that you're still young, okay? What about men? You know they do this every day, right? What? Yeah. You, you say what? Cindy, listen. If I were you, I wouldn't let that sweet, charming, cute guy sleep off my phone. No. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Do you don't want me, you can better still pass him over. Gladly you can have him. Let me get you a drink. <laughs> I don't want to. Enjoy him. Have fun, baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
Where are you crying? It's fine, it's fine. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what? Auntie Richie is dead. What? <laughs> oh no, sorry, 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 sorry. Mm, this is not good, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. what happened? What happened? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to watch her children. No worry, the children will be taken care of, I assure you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I know how you feel. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop. Babe, now, please. Uh, as soon as I'm, I'm done, I'll, I'll come back and I'll be there. I can't believe you're going to let me go on my own. So, like I told you before, I'm just going to help mom out with a few things. But she can easily find any other person to do this for her. What, you, you think I didn't try? I tried. I tried to come but you know how she can be now. She got all dramatic, but as soon as I'm done, I'll be by your side, I promise you. This is my auntie that died, though, and not just any aunt. I know. She was like a mother to me. I know, I was close to her too, so I understand how you feel. Okay, let me just get through. You know what, I'm gonna speed things up with what my mom wants me to do. As soon as I'm done, I'll be there with you, baby. I'm not gonna stand you up. Babe, hey, Okay, make sure you come as soon as you finish. I already miss you, so I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Make sure you come as soon as you're done. I won't stand you up. You'll see me. My love is strong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My morning star. The air I breathe. Don't leave me. Don't leave me My love is strong My heart is yours Don't leave me Please Don't leave me My morning The air I breathe Don't leave me Don't leave me Oh, mom Oh, Germania The voices that are speaking in our home will be our truth Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Welcome, Mom. Hi. Cindy, how are you? Fine. I hope you stop crying. Eh? Yes, fine. Please, you have to be strong for those children she left behind. You are the only one that can take care of them. Mom, she's not the only one. There are other aunties that would be able to take care of those kids as well. Hmm? Why is she rushing back? She should stay and take care of these children. They need her. Well, we need her here too. She has a home to run and she has work, Mom. Which home? Those aunties you're talking about, they all have children. But she doesn't have any. Mom, stop. Ogini, stop. what is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Ogini! Stop, Mom. Ogini. Stop. Ogini, stop. what is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Ogini! Come on, drive. You should stay back and take care of the children. I'm a man I pray for peace of mind. And the more the males are no the more peace of mind. My mama man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more the males are no the Your wife has gone right. Peace of mind. Sit down, Nolan. You better encourage her to stay back for a while. Because Sandra is moving into this house and both of you need to spend time together. What do you mean that is not going to happen? I did not kill my mother. You will not kill me. Oh, Guinea, why are you doing this to me? Eh? Last week I went to the hospital. The doctor said my BP is very high. All because of you. Why do you want to kill me? Oh, Guinea, can you me? Eh? I've done nothing. 
If I die today, just know that you are the person that killed me. You say a thing like that. Why wouldn't I talk like that? Why wouldn't I talk like that? What do you want me to do? Why do you want to kill me? I'm not asking you to marry her. I'm just saying, allow her to come and spend some time here. That's all. And if my wife finds out? Who will tell your wife? Onyika Gwea. Trust me, she will find out. Just trust me on this. Mom, you're disrespecting my marriage. Stop it. Listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Don't do this. Let me know that you're man enough to take good decision. Just do it. Let me know you're man enough. Nico Ziano. Nico. What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Oh. <laughs> My mom let you in, huh? You know what? Get out. This is my bedroom. Leave. <laughs> Why are you always trying to play the hard guy? I mean, it doesn't even fit you. Um, stop touching me. Stop it. You know, I was told that you are a trained nurse in the U.S. And I'm looking at you and I'm wondering what my mom told you that made you fly all the way down here to fool yourself. You think I'm fooling myself? Anita, <laughs> I am not fooling myself. I am in love with you, don't you understand? But I am taking, I'm a married man, don't you understand? Stop it now. Eh? Nothing can come out of this. Nothing. Stop. You know, Nathan, I, I never regret the little time that I spent with you. You just haven't given me the opportunity to prove to you that I love you. I love you. Stop touching me. Go out there. A lot of young men, single, would appreciate you. Love to make you their woman, make you happy. Stop following a married man around. I'm married. Has anyone ever told you that you look cute when you're angry? I mean, so cute. <laughs> you need help. Hmm? Yeah, you need help. You're retarded. Explains why you were deported and then you came back here to fool around. Oh. This has lasted long enough. Leave my bedroom. Okay, this is my bedroom. Out. I'm a, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, the man's a no the more. Peace of mind. I'm a, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. He meant the more, he meant the no the more, peace of mind. Ay, 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 What do you want? I'm cold. I'm, I want you to keep me warm. I'm Sandra. Why are you like this? Like how? Why do you constantly give me the impression that you're retarded? Yeah. Why? But I, I do not have any problem. I just want you to make me feel warm and cold. What's what's wrong with that? Come on, I, I, don't touch me. Do not touch me again. Try one more time. I'll do something to you that I'll regret. Yes, I, I'm cold. Yes. Do you see? 
I know you want me. Do you not bother you about your wife? Is she not going to find out? Or would you want to tell her? Just make me feel more pleased. Mm. I'll not tell you again. Touch me. One more time. Even if it means drugging you to get pregnant for you, I must do it. Nothing. I repeat, nothing will stop me from having you, Nathan. You are mine. And I must do anything possible to have you. Hmm? That stupid wife of yours cannot even stand on my way. She dares not. My mama man I pray for peace of mind. Amen to mind, amen to all of Peace of mind. My mama man I pray for peace of mind. Amen to mind, amen to all of Peace of mind. Mama, mama, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen. The more, the more, the more, more. Peace of mind. Mama, mama, I, 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 Hey babe, um, mm. I want to send a gate man down the street to get something for me to eat. I was mm. wondering, do you want anything? Are, are you hungry? Would you want him to get something for you too? Food, eh? Yeah, like food. Okay. Do you sometimes think about going to the market buying something to, to make yourself, you know, something that you can cook? Okay, as opposed to going down the road all the time to buy things that you don't know how it was prepared and putting your tummy into you, you know? Uh-huh, I get it. You're filled up. As a matter of fact, you were not interested. You know, I actually came to ask you so you don't feel like I'm starving you. But since you're filled up, it's, it's all good. I'll go tell him to get something for me. Oh, did you hear anything that I said? Huh? Did you say something? Yeah, did you hear everything that I said? Uh, I don't really hear well when I'm hungry. In case if you change your mind, I'll let you go. Now that's the one that my mom wants for me. Man, stop me. Oh. Um, hello. Good afternoon. My daughter, how are you? Ma, I am not fine at all. I am not. Your son is making life so miserable for me in this house. What happened? I've practically showed him everything, but he's not accepting anything. Nothing I do makes him happy. It's as if the more I'm trying to make him happy, the more he despises me. I am tired. Showing him everything may not be the solution. Don't you know how to use your woman power? Use it on him. Mm -hmm. You're not understanding what I'm saying, are you? I said I have done everything. I've done everything in my power. You are a very attractive woman. No man can resist you. If you play your card well, use your magic. Mom, it seems you've forgotten that your son is so rigid. I mean, he is a principled man. Nothing moves him. A anyways, I'll, I'll just keep trying. Yeah, I was doing something in the kitchen before you called. I'll call you back. Just that I need to take care of a few things um, before I, I look into that project. Oh no, not at all. 
I, I remember I told you myself that I would do something, something about it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, please, I have my mom trying to reach me. Can I call you back? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, mom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, son. How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. When do you say you are traveling to Cindy's village? Tomorrow morning, mom. You have to cancel it. Send money to them. Sandra is ill and she needs to be taken care of. I don't understand, mom. What? What Sandra? What? The same Sandra that I left at home? Yes. The sickness started not long ago and I am busy. I won't be able to come and take care of her. Mom. With all due respect, my responsibility is to my wife, Cindy, and not to Sandra. If Sandra is ill, let her go to the hospital. Better still, let her people come take care of her. You know that her parents are outside the country, just for tomorrow, and I will take over when I am done with what I am doing. Please, my son, do it for your mother. Mom, I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I don't like this at all, Mom. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I promise to come around once I am less busy. Sandra, you smoke in this house. So, do you have a problem with that? No, not exactly. But how would the man... You are trying to win. Phew! You know our men, they have a way of looking at women who smoke. Please, Kelsey, let her be my headache. Besides, before he would get back, I'm sure this man would have gone off. Oh, please. Yes, he could have been bad. I, I, I don't know why he came back so early today. Sunday, you need to drink water. You know you have vomited everything you ate and you need rest. And I feel like you want to take any water. We arrived earlier, should have been dead. She can't even move or do anything when we got here. Well, let's take her to the hospital. I'm here, let's go to the hospital. Huh? No, no, we are just coming back from the hospital now. Yes. Oh, you, what, you already been to the hospital and, and you're back? Yes, sir. Okay, so what, what, what did the doctor say? The doctor said, he said, the doctor said, he said, he said, he said we should come back for the test results. Yes, come back for the test results. Come That's back for the test results. So, Temperature is normal. Okay. Huh. We, we, the, the temperature is normal, but the, the inside is not normal. Yes. yes. What's that smell? Smell it. I'm, I'm a man the, 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 I pray for peace it, of the mind. Hey, one of the drugs the doctor gives us this awful smell. Yes, uh, one of the I'm the the of the 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 peace of
I came to tell you thank you for taking care of me. yourself a lot. You know you should make a time for something else. Okay. Have the entire house to yourself, all right? You're making me uncomfortable in my own house, and I decided to leave it for you. So enjoy. No, but you cannot leave your house because of me. It's not nice. Really? Is that what my mother asked you to say? No, your mother does not have anything to do with this. Hmm. As a matter of fact, your mother would not even know my decisions to go back to the state. I will leave. Well, I've really had enough of your nonsense in this house, Sandra, and it has to stop. Okay? Stay away from me. All right? I was actually making up my mind to go out, okay, to get a few things done before you started with, with your nonsense again. And now I'm really irritated. I really just need to catch some air. So please just step aside. Let me go out. Hopefully by the time I come back here, and hopefully you'll be out of my house before I return. Let them wait. My love is strong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. You've never seen a man as true as man. Hello, mom. Hello, my daughter. How are you doing? Mom, I'm, I'm good. I called this early to remind you that you must utilize your chance today. You said your relation is starting today. So make sure he sleeps with you. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I mean, I can't keep forcing myself on Nathan. He already made it clear that he doesn't want me. I can't. My daughter, believe me, if he gets you pregnant, he will send that useless woman away and marry you. Mom, you're not understanding me, are you? There is nothing that I'm going to do for Nathan to sleep with me. He doesn't like me. After this and it did not work, then you can go back to the States. Okay, just this last time. Thank you. Bye. Sorry for all the pains that have caused you and your family. Little please. I don't know what got over me. I don't know how your mom caught me involved in all this, but believe me, I am leaving this morning and I really packed my things. I just wanted you to know that I am really sorry. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I know that. 
that you're hurt. I know that you're disappointed. And I also know that in a bid to save my marriage, I, I have been mean to you. I know my mom put you up to all of this and, um, you know, you got all mercy and dirty, but I have never seen you like this. I didn't know you had, you had an emotional side. Sorry, stop crying. Okay, stop crying. Listen uh, up your makeup. Stop crying. Okay. I'll be your friend. Yeah. That way you and I can stop fighting each other. Especially me fighting you. You're beautiful, you know. Yeah, it's just that, you know, you came at me the wrong way. Uh, you let my mother put you up to a lot of mischief that is not right and stuff. But looking at you now, by the way, you look great and right. Oh, don't leave me. So happy right now, like oh, I can't wait to have Meta's baby. I can't wait to be pregnant for him. So where is he now? Um, he should be in the room. I took her some time from the hint to come and give you the good news. You should be in the room with him. Apart from the fact that Cindy will be coming back tomorrow. So soon. What's wrong with that useless girl? She can't stay to help those children. It's not like she can even get pregnant. But anyways, um, I don't care, Mom. I'm just happy. That's what my father is. Okay, I have to go back to my duty post. I'll call you later. Okay, Mom. Hey, baby. Perfect. Don't call me, baby. Stop. Okay. Um, do you have something? Stop it. Okay. Sorry. I'm off to my wife's town to return with her tomorrow. Okay. Sandra? Yes, babe. Would you be nice enough to keep what happened between you and I to yourself? Appreciate it if no one knows about it. Of course, you can come to me, baby. Oh, stop calling me, baby. Not your baby. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay, that's a hundred thousand naira for your transport. Please leave my house before I return tomorrow with my wife. If you leave today, I'll be better. Are you serious right now? Are you for real? Okay, fine. I would leave your house. But do you think if I wanted some money from you, it would be the spin out? I don't need it. You can keep it to yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself, Sandra. What happened between you and I was a silly mistake that you and I will try not to remember. If my wife hears about this, my marriage just might be shattered. I don't want that. So please take this money and leave. My love is wrong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My morning star. Don't leave me, my morning star. 
stop pretending to be happy to see me. Because both of us know that you never wish to see me in your life. And you, you don't know how to greet your mother. Eh? You don't know how to greet your mother. Good afternoon, Mom. I just wasn't expecting to see you here. How would you expect to see me? Is that why you didn't allow her to stay back in the village and take care of those poor children? You had to rush her back. Okay? You had to rush her back. What's her use in this house? What's her use? Not now. Mm. Not now. Cindy, you have turned my son against me. You, you turned my son against me. Let me tell you something. Your days are numbered in this house. Lie, mom. Her days are not numbered. Her days are numbered. So that, let's go inside. Your days are numbered. Oh, okay. Your days are numbered. I'm telling you, your days are numbered in this house. Your days are numbered. Oh, oh, Germania. The voices that are speaking in our home of Yajulu. We shall overcome. This love will never stop. Please hear me out. I will never let you go. So keep on, keep on. I will never let you go. You are all I have. Oh, don't leave me. Mama, are you looking for something? Are you looking for something? Oh, don't I just, uh, the kitchen is not big enough. I want to separate where my grandchild will be dressed. I don't want him to be using kitchen with anyone. Grandchild? Where's that grandchild coming from now? I'm not pregnant yet. <laughs> and who's talking about it? Can you ever be pregnant? It's only a fool that will still think Anything good can come out of you. And I'm not a fool. I'll plead with you to quit this game of deceiving yourself and not me. Mama, what have I done? What have I ever done to you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be harsh to you. But I just need to tell you the truth. I, I, I don't know why my mind's like this towards me. I, I've been trying. I've been trying to get her to accept me. And no matter what I do, she doesn't. Ignore her. You summarized her the other time. You said that the best way to deal with her is to ignore her. Why are you letting this one get to you? Ignore her. What is this talk about expecting a grandchild? But she said that to you? It's nothing. She's just trying to... <laughs> Look, you know how manipulative my mom can be. She's, she's trying to mess with your head. Okay? She's trying to play on your intelligence. Don't let that happen now. Nothing. This got to me because she was so sure. She didn't sound like a mere mischief maker. She was absolutely sure about this. Like she has a plan. She's just talking. She's she's just talking tough. You know, listen, you know my mom. There, there is there is really no, you know, no plan. She's just you know saying those things to just to to you know just Nathan. What are you hiding you from me? What? What are you hiding away from me, babe? Do I hide things from you? I know you too well. I know you very well, and I know when you're hiding something away from. Tell me, what is it? Nothing. 
Look, it's it's not like there's anything or I, I it, there's nothing. You, you know, I tell you everything. You right? talk to me. Tell me what are you hiding? Okay, I. I'll, I'll tell you. You see, when you went to to the village, I. But, but, so, listen, you, you have to promise to be calm and, and, and please, you, you have to forgive me, okay? Please, you promise, promise you, you will You can speak. Up. When you went to the village, um, my mom brought the, you know that family friend, the, the first kind one, the one that you saw the other day, yes, Sandra, uh -huh. brought her here and was trying to coerce me into marrying her. Huh? Yeah, and I know she, she, she threatens to, to kill herself if I don't marry her. What did you say? What did you say? I told her no, that I, that I, I can't do it. You're leaving. Yes. Start shouting for joy. The wicked witch is about to leave your house. Mama, I would never call you a wicked witch. I love you just like I love my own mother. Who are you fooling? You think you can fool me? I know you hate me, but I'm not worried. The feeling is mutual. I wish you die so my son can progress. Mama! Don't mama me. Stupid girl. I'm not your mother. I will never rest until you leave my son alone. If you know what is good for you, live with your pride, else you will be disgraced out of this house. I promise you that. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, amen the more, peace of mind. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, amen the more, peace of mind. The almighty Madame Vero, the only woman who knows how to get things done. Talk to me, I'm here to help you. I invited you here because I know you are friend to that witch my son got married to, against my wish. Oh, Mama, you sound as if you're not comfortable with her being your son's wife. I practically pleaded with my son not to marry that girl. From time, because I know what she represents. But you refuse to listen to me. I need your services because I want to end that union. I want to end it once and for all. Okay, so how do I come in? Trust me, when the brief is right, I'm always there to provide my services. I like that. I heard you slept with Sandra, and she was of late when you slept with her. What are you talking about? Don't ask me what I'm talking about. Don't even act ignorant of that. I don't know what you're talking about. Sandra was ovulating when you slept with her. Which is to say, she can get pregnant anytime soon. Meaning, you should get yourself prepared for what is coming. Huh. <laughs> so I was right all this time, huh? <laughs> so this whole thing was an organized seduction with my mom, my own mother, sitting at the helm of it. Ah, mom. Mom, what do you stand to gain from this? What I tell you, nothing will happen. I'm not prepared for anything. Because you see, that act was a mistake. And whatever comes out of it will be a mistake. Let us wait till she's pregnant. Then we will revisit this matter. Just get yourself prepared. You're going to be a father. <laughs>
females and all the more peace of mind. Ay, 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 oh. ay, 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 oh. ay, 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 oh. I pray for peace of mind. Ay, 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 oh. ay, 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 oh. ay, 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 oh. I pray for peace of mind. Hello, Sandra? Hello, baby. This is a huge surprise. Yeah, how are you? I am very well. It's so sweet of you to ask. Um, S Sandra, you, you know that I haven't um, actually called to, um, you know, discuss um, what happened uh, the, the last time with you. No, 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 that, that's not what I'm talking about. Listen, Sandra, uh, you would agree with me that what, what, what happened was a mistake, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking that you, that, you know, we are careful to ensure that um, nothing from that experience um, reminds us of that, of that mistake, if, 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 you, if you get what I'm talking about. How dare you call such a precious moment a mistake? Look, I am tired of you and your over-righteous attitude. Don't ever call my phone again, and I mean it. Just get off, please. Ah. Nathan. Ah, Nathan, no. You goofed this time. I love this room. Yes? You aren't looking happy today. Do you mind sharing? No, I'm okay. I'm fine. Talk to me. Is it about your wife? What? Is it about your wife? Have I not told you to stop talking about my wife? She is not your business. I'm your business. Come on. I'm just showing you concern. I appreciate your concern, but please do not meddle in my personal affairs. My wife is my wife. Okay, what you and I have going has nothing to do with my wife. Don't, don't, don't do that next time. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, are we seeing next week? I will uh, let you know what my schedule is. I can then... I'll also transfer something to your account. Something for the weekend. All right? What's wrong with this guy? Whatever. Why are you just looking at me like you don't understand what I'm saying? Mom, we are confused. We don't think any of that is our business. Not like we don't care about our friend. But we are not supposed to be interfering in our private life. Mm, no, no, ma, I disagree with you on this. Cindy is our friend and we should be able to tell her the truth when she's misbehaving. Mama is right. I don't want you girls to get me wrong. I like my daughter-in-law and I want her to be happy. But she's not helping. She's pushing her husband to other women. She's not been a good woman to her husband. I think I understand you now. You want us to tell our friend to stop being a bad wife to her husband so that your son will stop cheating on her. Is that what you want us to do? Not exactly. I want you girls to help me beg her to leave my son alone. She's not a good woman. She should stop going around pretending to be good when she's the one making her husband to cheat. Ma, you're supposed to be advising your son to stop cheating. That's the other way around. Oh, come on, Norma. You keep getting it wrong. 
So because Cindy is our friend, we can't even look at her face and tell her the truth, right? Let me tell you this. When a man is misbehaving or cheating on the wife, it's actually the woman's fault. Thank you, my daughter. Mm -hmm. You see, Cindy, Cindy doesn't love my son at all. She just won that title, married woman. That's why she doesn't take care of her home. The Cindy that I know loves her family dearly. And she's the woman that any man can ever think of having. <laughs> You guys know that Cindy can be very, very mischievous sometimes. You know that. Belinda. Belinda what? Come on. You guys are so naive. You don't even know what's going on in our world today. Listen, let me tell you. Mama was very, very right. Mama, forget these girls. They shouldn't even have been in this conversation in the first place. Because. Give her more sleepless nights. It's better she doesn't know about this. I don't know. Why would that woman be supporting her cheating son and blaming it on the innocent Cindy? I'm not surprised. You know that woman has a very questionable character. Cindy is a wife that any man could ever ask for. I just pray God gives her a child. To take care of a lot of things. But what I don't know is... Why on earth would that woman be supporting a cheating son? My dear, I don't even want to talk about this again, I beg. Where is Belinda? What is she still doing inside? This girl. Let's wait and find out what exactly she's doing inside. Okay, let's go. I still need your help. I need you to make your friends dislike her. And you have to get my son on tape, pants down. I will pay. No, 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 mama. That won't be so easy to achieve. Having your son pants down? No, mama. You know I'm his wife's friend. That won't be so possible to just achieve it. Please, mama. Why don't we maybe just um, hire another girl to do that? I have hired so many girls. He keeps rejecting them. He doesn't want any girl that comes for him. I think he likes hunting for his women. <laughs> That's the word, Mama. You actually know your son, he cheats a lot. That's the word, hunting. He's such a hunter. And, you know, he likes to <laughs> catch his own meat mm, by himself. You know him very well. <laughs> but not to worry. He slept with somebody I wanted him to marry. And from the look of things, she might be pregnant. Huh? How? Who was that? The girl was ovulating when he slept with her. Yes, her name is Sandra. She's from a wealthy home. Once the pregnancy is confirmed, I'll send Sydney out of that house and Sandra will be there. Hmm. No, 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 Mama. I think that might be a little bit extreme. And let me tell you, people might actually frown at that. And again, your son, Nathan, I don't think he will agree to do that. Who cares? Just leave everything to me. I will handle it. <sighs> okay. If you say so, I will be on my way then. Please take it easy, ma'am. Okay, then. Take care. Thank you. I know Belinda. She can't keep this information to herself. She will go and tell that witch, and everywhere will turn upside down. Please, you guys should leave me alone, okay? Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Oh, please, before you think or act, just think about yourself. Stop being insensitive and selfish. Me, being insensitive? Yes. So now it's my fault that Nathan is cheating on Cindy, right? Now it's my fault. You blame me for that, right? Belinda, nobody is blaming you. But all we are saying is you should stop supporting that woman. Supporting so which woman now? Which that woman? Man. I'm not supporting her. Please, please. I'm not supporting that woman. I'm not supporting anybody now. I think we should tell our friend the truth. Because as we speak, I think her husband actually slept with somebody who might possibly be pregnant as we speak. Who told you that? Who told me that? 
It's Madame Vero. Anyway, this lady's name is Sandra and they actually did it during her ovulation. And the peak of the entire story is that they did it wrong. That can't happen. That's not possible. Uh, that can't happen. It already happened, my dear. Anyway, are you coming in the car with me or not? Don't bother about us. We'll find our way. Why is this girl so wicked? Belinda and her mischievous character should not be our concern now. But this allegation that Nathan went into another woman unprotected should be. If you really believe that, then you can believe anything. I don't believe it. It's a lie. He can't do that. I I'm telling you, he can't. Um, you see, at first I didn't want to tell you. But then I thought about it, I felt... It's actually better to tell you so you prepare yourself, There's okay? nothing to prepare myself for. I'm sorry he can't. I don't believe it. Take it easy. Take it easy, Cindy. I know what I'm saying. Do you know what? This is the handwork of my mother in law She's always wanted me to leave this house. She wants me to get upset, pack my things and leave. Are you sure? Are you sure? You know, men are not to be trusted. Please, don't ignore my advice. Belinda, my husband cannot cheat on me. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. He can't. Anyway, I've played my part as a friend who really loves you. But if you choose to ignore my advice and continue loving a Casanova blindly, then you have yourself to blame if you eventually contract any of these deadly diseases. Don't say I didn't warn you. My love is wrong. My heart is yours. Don't leave. My morning star, the air I breathe, don't leave me. Why? Why is don't this leave to me? me. My love is strong, my heart is yours. Don't leave me, please, don't leave me. My morning star, the air I breathe. Jesus, hey, Haka Akaya, Haka Giovanni, Emma, hey, Jesus, the Lord is my provider, Jehovah Jireh, hey, what is it? What is it? What, 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 what? My darling, I had a dream. I had a dream, okay. and the dream was so real. You know how my dreams come out? It comes out the way it happened, where I dreamt it. I know, hey, I praise know. the Lord. My God and my Lord, you are my provider. I will always worship you. I thank you and I praise you. Sweetheart. You are the God of justice. You are the God of love. You are the God of... Stop, you're shouting. Hmm. What, is, what is this dream about? I'm telling you, it was too real. Well, tell me what the dream is about now. What do you, you walk me on? So, in that dream, yes, I saw you carrying a bouncing baby boy. He was so cute, and he was your child. It's just that I, I wasn't the one carrying him. It was another woman, and, and I, I couldn't recognize her face. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Lord has done it. Praise the Lord. My Lord and my God, you said you would never forsake me. You are the God of Abraham and Sarah, and you have done it for me. <sighs> Baby, hmm? are you not happy? Are you not happy for us? You should be happy. I'm happy. I'm very... Um, I share Good. excitement. Join me. Join me in praising the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Hey. Thank you, Chukun Nachu. Hey. Thank you very much, God. Hey. My dreams have finally come true. We'll finally hear a cry of a baby in this house. Bobby Mom, hold your mind, The voices that are speaking in our home will be our truth. Oh, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished. What did I do? Huh? <sighs> so this girl is pregnant? How? how? How do I face my wife? Why would I allow myself to fall for something like this? I am finished. I'm finished, I'm finished. Ah, oh, never. What happened? Is everything all right? Why are you here this early? Listen, Mom, I have come to tell you specifically that I am not going to accept any child from anybody except the one that my wife Cindy gives to me. So please, tell your candidate, Sandra, to get rid of that thing that she's carrying, for I will not accept it. Are you insane? You woke me up, no greeting. Is this what you came to my house to tell me? Good morning, Mom. However, I have said what I said and I stand by it. Okay? Your hired killers are not going to kill me before my time, Mom. You all should just leave me alone. Leave me be. No one should activate this beast in me. Because if that happens, you all will have to live with the consequences, Mom. Your wife sent you to me? She didn't send me here, Mom. I've come to have a conversation. You, and I'd rather we keep it this way. Now oh, listen and listen, God. There are no hired killers. Nobody is killing anyone. If you forget everything, you better not forget this. I'm, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. You can't do anything. Just get ready to receive your first child. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. My baby, how are you doing? So, tell me, how is it going? Have you checked? That's to know if you're pregnant. Mommy, it's, it's too early. I have not checked. It's not too early, my dear. Go to the hospital and check. Or you want me to send the doctor to you? I'll do that if that's what you want. There is no need, Mom. I can go by myself. I will go by tomorrow. Please. Very well, then. I'll be waiting. yourself together okay it's not the end of the world everything is going to be fine <laughs> fine okay. how how will everything be fine what did i do you didn't do anything it's not your fault you can't blame yourself it's his fault for not sticking his stuff at the place all i ever did was to love him i love him with everything that i have Let's just pray that the Sandra girl is not pregnant, okay? What did I do? It's alright. What have I done to deserve okay, this? It's okay. It's okay, don't be like this, please. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Drop, drop that one here. Drop it here. Thank you. Thank you. You can go. Hi, husband. Okay. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. What's your baby? Those are baby things, right? Yes. What's going on? I, I didn't want to be caught unawares. I'm preparing for the baby that is coming into this family. 
Don't play with me now. Don't play with me now. <laughs> but are you saying that we're respecting and this is your way of telling me that, we, 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 that no. you're pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. I'm talking about your baby, Nathan. Your baby that is coming into this family. baby stuff because of some stupid dream. Listen, you're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. It's simple. Why would you do this? Uh, you just used the word stupid on me. And it appears that I am actually indeed very stupid. I mean, how can I be expecting a, a, a baby when I'm not pregnant? Oh, no, you tell me because you tell me because you're the one who's carrying baby stuff around. So tell me. No, tell me. no. You tell me, Nathan. Are you pregnant with vital information? that I should know. What are you talking about? You know what? Nah. I'm not ready for this drama. My love is strong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Please, don't leave me. Yes, I like it. I'll do anything. Anything at all to, to make you happy, Cindy. Anything. Is there something you want to tell me? Yes, my love. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. I want you to know that you're my life. You're my everything. And that no matter what happens, always have it in mind that he loves you. Because I love you. With every part of me, no matter what happens, always remember this. Today. I love you. Are you afraid of something happening? No. No. I mean, you started telling me what happened in the village before I left for the village or when I left for the village. And, and you stopped. I, I want you to tell me exactly what happened. Tell me. Tell me so that I would know. Please. Nathan, please just tell me. Talk to me. Tell me. Tell me exactly what happened. I, I want to know. No. Why? Miss you? Uh, Want to spend time with you? Uh, okay, this is serious. What? I mean, I wasn't complaining. So I haven't said you're complaining. I'm just saying that I'm, you know, I kind of miss our times together in the evening, chill, you know. Mm. Yeah. You know, you know, I usually just see um, the evening and stuff. Where's my husband and what have you done with him? Nothing. Right here. Oh, oh. 
Okay, 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 okay. Besides, there's this uh, movie I'd like for you and I to see this evening. Mm. Yeah, you know, just kill the lights and just have a moment, just be on the floor. Okay, there. okay. You okay. know how it gets. I'll be right back. Wearing our briefs and stuff. Let me go change you know, into something that more type, comfortable. That type of movie, you know. Ah, oh, God. That type of movie. Oh. You want to change? Yes. So, nice. Can I come with you? No. Okay. Let me come with you. I said no. No. Let me, let me no, help you change. No, sit. Put on the movie. Put the movie on. Put the movie on. Okay. Ben. Sorry. I'm here. Right here. Love you, baby. Love you too. <laughs> So, this is why you're looking at me like that. Where are you rushing to? Home. Rushing home to spend some quality time with my wife. Yeah? See. see, my baby is coming and she's actually coming with a friend. If you see her picture, she's just your spec. Let me show you. What do you know my spec to be? Boy, relax. My wife is the only spec that I need right now. Eh? Don't get me into trouble. Bigo, 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 bigo. Wrap them up now. Hmm? Uh -huh. Please. <laughs> what I mean. eh? Spend some quality time with my wife. Come on, you you don't understand. Like, what is going on with you? I'm in a happy place. That's what. I love my wife. That's what. A drink up before I leave you here. <laughs> so you carried your two left leg into my shop to come and collect money? You want me to pay you? Pay you for what? Why should I pay you? <laughs> Madam, I, don't, I didn't just see a show and I decided to walk in. Yes, I did a job for you, so I'm here to get paid. So where is the picture you're supposed to get for me? I, I, I tried. I did everything possible, but he refused to comply. So why do you want me to pay you? You couldn't get the picture. Why do you want me to pay you? For the job. Which job? The agreement. What agreement? What nonsense agreement? We agreed you get me the picture. You didn't get me the picture. And you're here to collect money. Are you crazy? It is an agreement. Money. Before I open my eyes, just disappear from this place. Get out! Pay me my money. Because I will always come back and fight my money. That's it. Look at this riffraff. You think you can threaten a woman like me? If I deal with you, I swear you're going to disappear. Oh, really? Come on, get out from here. All right. I, I think get out. I will soon come back. How dare you? See this one, the monkey? You're coming to threaten me. Are you crazy? Come on to get me a picture. You can't even get me the picture. You think I'm a woman you can threaten? How dare you? You know, Paula? Nonsense. Simple job, you couldn't even do it. You have yet to come and ask for money. Telling me it's an agreement. Rubbish. Let me see you here again. Nonsense. Can you be sleepy when we have not even arranged for where the baby will stay? What? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, can I just sleep? Please? No, no, just tell me. What room are we going to arrange for the baby that is coming? So can we talk about this tomorrow? I need to sleep. I will let you sleep if you answer me this one question. What is it? What question? What room? What room are we going to arrange for the baby that is coming? Ah, well, can this not waste till tomorrow? Please, can we not talk about it tomorrow, please? If you answer me, you will sleep. You know what? Next room, all right? The next, the next room. The next one. So mm. by this answer, you are confirming that indeed you are expecting a baby? Don't be upset. Don't be upset, my handsome husband. See? But I was sleeping no, and you no, woke no, me no, up. No, no, don't be upset. Listen, this is a family and as a unit we must we must, we must find solutions to our problems and answers to our questions. That's all I'm trying to find out. Eh? And since I am not pregnant, it means that somebody else is pregnant. Ah, I don't know who that is. I mean, you, you, you woke me up, so you should be telling me what's going on. You woke no, me up. No, you were already telling me the story. Just finish it. What happened during that period? Tell me. Don't be upset. Eh? Really, baby? Really? I 
married woman. I am a married woman. There are so many single girls out there. Go for one of them and leave me alone. Okay, me? Calm down. Okay? You shouting. Take it easy. Take it easy? I have been trying to take it easy with you. But this single act of you coming to my workplace shows that you and all the men are agents of the devil trying to take me out of my husband's house. Tell them you did not see me. Tell them you did not see me. Come on, stop. I don't like what you're saying. Stop. It has not gotten to that. Mm. Wait. I know what you might be thinking. But believe me, I'm not in this with anyone. Mm. Yes. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The next time I see you around me, I will get you arrested. <sighs> arrested? For what? For expressing myself to you? Come on. Why are you acting this way? Okay. I just want us to be friends. Which friends? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I am a married woman. Leave me alone. Friend, kill you there. I love you. Love, love kill you there. Love kill you there. Nonsense, do you? But I love you. Love, why give up? I will be there for you. Why can't love kill you then? I will do anything for you. Do for yourself, you promise. I will even take care of you. Please, just give me a chance. Just one, please. What eventually happened? Help my wife. Hmm? Yes, baby. You're becoming too nice these days, though. What do you want? Well, I'm here to remind you how much I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is your niceness. Almost like the very first time we met at the university. Mm. Like that time when we met and I swept you with your feet. Huh? <laughs> mm? Memories that could last me a lifetime. Which is why I'm wondering why the sudden change. I've told you lately that I love you. <laughs> and I love you too. I'm just about for you. I love you. Now watch me make you the most amazing meal today. Nah, you're the real meal. It's okay. You can go to the room now. No, just give me a smile. Okay, go watch it. Go watch your movies. Babe, just give me a smile. I'm already here now. I said leave. Babe, you're stingy these days. Your wall has become too much these days. Why are you go. why are you hunting? Hunting what? Yeah. Babe, go. Give me one mouth. I said go. Just, just kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. <laughs> I'm surprised you're saying this. There's nothing wrong with what I've said. Talk to that girl. Let her go for a test. That way we know the situation. I'm, I'm dying slowly. I'm worried. Instead of you to be praying for this test to be positive, you're here talking nonsense. To what end, mom? If it's positive, to what end? What would happen? I'm not going to marry her. If it's positive, tell her to get rid of it. That was a mistake. She knows and I know too. That, that, that singular act was a mistake. Yes? You are a liar. She will never do such a thing and you will marry her. I'm married, mom. What am I going to marry two women? That's not going to happen now. She has to get rid of it. And mom, look, see, I see where you're going with this. Stop trying to separate me and my wife. It won't happen. You are a joker. You're married. Which marriage? Please say something else. As long as I'm concerned, my son is not married. How come? What happened? I thought you were overlating when it happened. Yes, mom, I was overlating. I am very sure of that. Oh. What sort of bad luck is this? 
Mom, are you sure the sun is fatal at all? Like, can you put it? My son is very fertile. Is that which he married? I'm a man, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the no the more. Peace of mind. Are you not going to tell me what's going on? I'm your wife. I know something has been bothering you this past few weeks, even though you pretend nothing is bothering you. Please tell me. It's nothing. Are you sure? Yes, babe. I don't think so. Babe. Look, babe, I... I said, babe, I... I did something that I'm really not proud of. And I'm hoping that you can forgive me. Please. I hope that you, you, you find it in your heart. Huh. It's your mom. Yeah, I know, I know, no, 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 I'm not. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking. Since when did you stop picking your mom's call? Huh. My mom is drama. It's, I, I'm not taking that call. Please man. pick. <laughs> you know my no nonsense mother in law, Madame Vero. Please pick that call. In fact, call her back. Sweetheart, I'm not taking the call. Let it be. I'm serious. Honestly, I don't want problems. Okay, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Better. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. I'm, I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the no the more. Peace of Hello, mind. Mom? Mom? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm happy. <laughs> she got the light. You're going to tell me something. What? You're going to tell me something before the phone rang. Oh, babe. Babe. Mm. Talk to me now. Babe. I was just playing with you. I, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just, I mean, you were worried that I was worried, so I decided to play along. That's it, nothing really. Aren't you ever going to tell me what's going on? Babe, what? Someone cannot play with you anymore. Uh, relax, Joe. There's, there's really nothing. I'm fine. What did she say? Trust me, nothing. What did she say? Oh, she was just being dramatic. Pick, 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 pick. What does this one want now? Just to gossip, that's all. Why is she not picking now? Huh? <sighs> Please, I don't need any bad vibes in my life right now. Okay.
The number you dialed is switched off. at me like that. This is my house as well and I'm here to set things right. Carry my things into the room. My room, you know my room. Yes. That one I like to stay. Take my bags in there. Are you sure you know my room? Welcome mom. I'm, I'm a man I can I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, the more, peace of mind. I'm, I'm a man I can I pray for peace of mind. Belly for it. Why, why is she doing this? This is so unfair, I swear. I'm not going anywhere. What did you say? I'm not going anywhere. You see, you know your mother, she's already boiling that water. Get up, let's go. What this is unfair now? What, in my own house again? See, huh? this, one is, this one is not about house now. Get up, let's go.
Amen. Amen. Am I good morning? Pretender. Pretender. Keep pretending. Very soon, your secret will be exposed and my son will know exactly who you are. Mama, even my enemies give it to me. I am a straightforward person. I have no secrets. You think I don't know you used Juju to hold my son? Ah, uh -uh. I know. But let me tell you something. We will start midnight prayer in this house. You know how powerful midnight prayer can be. Mama, I am a God child will of God. You I am a child of free. God, Mama. I am a child of God. I have never touched Juju. <laughs> Is you cool? a child of God that doesn't pray? A child of God indeed. I am from a background. And that background, I was taught that before you kneel down to pray, God already knows what your problems are. We pray silently, and, and for all we know, Mama, God is not deaf. Mm. I understand the insult. But don't worry. Very soon. Oh, no. Very soon. I'm a mama man again and more. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, the more, peace of mind. What is keeping her now? I'm hungry. Uh -uh. Food will soon be here now. Because she's too lazy. Cooking is taking her the whole day. I'll take it easy. I'm gonna go and be cool. Ah! Ah, finally! Yeah. You, you need help? No, yeah, I'm You sure? Yes, you can just pour the water. Ah, okay. I could go serve my own. Ah! Finally! I'm serve myself. Are you going to be chewing banana and be eating rice? I'll time? put the banana in the rice. Ha! Oh, can't see. Try it. Amine, you want to? Is this enough for me? Please put more food for me. Put more. I said you should put more here. Don't you know I'm hungry? After waiting the whole day. Put your banana. Am I stand now? Please put me from your phone is there. So that I'm fine. Just let me just say a little bit. Okay. Mama, you're eating already. And you haven't even prayed. But you asked us to pray all the time. And who told you I have not prayed? Well, when did you pray? I prayed in my mind. Hmm? Mm. So now let's pray. Holy Father, we thank you for this food. We thank you for providing. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bless and sanctify the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. So right now, we need to pray and rebuke the handbook of the devil. Mama, get up, get up, get up. Leave me alone, Biko. It's your dream, your sorrow, and your tragedy. Go and pray and leave me alone. Mama, uh, Mama, uh, it's time for prayer. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There's four on the mountain. We have to pray. No, Mama, it does not work like that. We're a unit, we're a family. Eh? You, we cannot just pray separately. But what is it they told you? What are you both planning to do? What are you talking about? That I'm confused. I don't know what, what, what I'm doing. What? Mama, we cannot afford for anything to happen to anybody in this house. <laughs> Amen. Mama, 
mighty name of Jesus, Amen. every power, yes, every Lord. power spirit, yes, in the Lord. shape of a woman, yes, an elderly woman, yes, holding around, yes, holding Lord. his hands, yes, lying on this bed, yes, shut up, standing on the room, yes, shut up, is about to destroy yes. the peace in the oh, world. She became this way. You know, my, my mom wasn't this way when I was growing up. Well, they said change is the only constant thing in life. Isn't Why would she change for the worse? The thing is, I, I regret telling her that I love to pray in silence. You know what I'm going to do? What? I am going to start disturbing her every single day. She says she likes prayers. I will give it to her exactly how she likes it. Let's see what's going to happen. Just want to go out. Let, let her go back to the house that I bought her. Let her just go. Let her leave us alone. Let's live here in peace. And you know the only way that's going to happen? What? Is by paying her back in her own coin. Okay, so we'll have to do this again. Fire. 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 Prayer. Fire. Prayer. Fire. 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 You are looking at me as if I've done something wrong. You have done everything. You have just, you have done everything wrong. You really disappointed me, honestly. Madam, it is not my fault. I tried my best. See, we are up against a woman who would follow you at your own pace and still will not do anything stupid. I don't want to hear all this story. You see all this nonsense you're saying. I'm not interested in all these stories. I'm not interested in it. Let me tell you something. Every woman has a weak point. All you just need to do, use your brain and press the right button. Then get me what I want. Get me these pictures. I know what I did already. This woman is not cheap at all. She is not the kind of woman that one can get by knowing her weak points. Okay, all you're saying is bullshit. Just know that. This is what I want you to do now. When I get home, once I call you, you start calling her. You must keep calling her until she picks. That will not be a problem now. That's Martin. I am not giving you another money until you deliver. Me, I no go give you another money until you deliver for me. Mama, no worry. This one now go show. No worry, go show. I need to tell you. Go go well. I'm going home now to go and rest. When I get home, if there's anything I want you to do, I will let you know. Let me have the apple. So let me have the apple. Hold on. I'll give this apple on one condition. What condition? Tell me why I should give you this apple rather than eating it. Well, you said that I'm the apple of your eye. I am the apple. You said, baby, you are the apple of my eye. So meaning I'm the apple here. You are not even serious. <laughs> but I'm serious. Listen, there's more than 10 apples in the fridge. No, I want this one. Why? Why, why, is, this one? why is this one so important to you? I'm this. not going to give it to you. I will walk into the fridge. Are you sharing this one? No, I'm not sharing it. Let's go. <laughs> Your monitoring spirit is tired. <laughs> she was monitoring you, not me. Then she's in for a long wait. She wait from now to the kingdom come. You're bracing up, I like. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, listen, I want you to call her now. Keep calling her until she peaks. When she peaks, sound very romantic to her. And make sure you make her sound romantic to you as well. Call her right now, right away. Now that you ate this apple with me, are you satisfied now? I'm happy because we, we had it together. We ate it together. Hmm. What, you don't want to take it? No, I don't want to. It's not important. You never know. 
No, trust me. It's not important and I don't want any distractions. I'm spending quality time with my baby. Babe, the person keeps calling. See? <laughs> the person keeps calling. I know, but trust me, it's not important at all. It's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you say so. Since when have you started keeping secrets from your husband? Oh no, more, 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 more now. Open your eyes and see. Why is she not picking that call? Who is calling you? It's a, it's a, it's a call. Can I take it or not take it? Sweetheart, are you keeping something from me? No. Are you asking her? If you're not keeping any secret from him, why are you not answering that call? Who is calling you? Who is calling you? It's not important, trust me. It's just a friend. A friend that your husband doesn't know. Sweetheart, you know what? Just, just pick the call, okay? It, trust me, it's not important, honestly. Uh, is he one of your boyfriends? What? I don't have any boyfriend. Oh, yes, you do. Ah, if you don't have a boyfriend, pick that call. I'm a man, I'm a man, I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen, the more, the more, the more, the more, peace of mind. I'm a man, I'm a man, I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. By the time I'm done with you, you will leave this house without a pain. I told you before, it's, it's a guy. He was asking me out and, and, and I said and said no. I said I was not interested. No, so now he's no longer a friend. He's now a guy. What does this guy want? Nothing. Huh? Believe me, I don't have anything to do with him. I told him I was married, but he just wouldn't stop. You had nothing to do with this guy. Or had no intention of cheating on me with this guy. How come? Not even for once did you mention him to me. How come you never talked about him? But I did. I, I mentioned him to you. I just didn't give you specific details because I didn't think he was important. I, I didn't take him serious. You didn't take him seriously, yet he calls your phone. While I'm sitting there, you refuse to take the call. Why? I didn't take his call because, obviously, he has nothing important to say. I love you. I, I can't even imagine myself having anything to do with any other guy. You should know the woman that you married. I and mean, you should know the type of men who lurk around these days. They're not even scared of the word marriage anymore. When a woman starts to give attention or start listening, that's where the problem lies. Believe me. I'm telling you the truth. I love you. I, I love you, Nathan. I can't have anything to do with anyone. I can't cheat on you. Yet, you did a great job. <laughs> I must commend you. But I need more of that. I need you to send her a love text narrated an epic sex you both had. I know, I know you didn't have sex with her, I know. Just send her the text. I will tell you when to send the text. No, no, not now. I will still call you again. Okay then, thank you. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen. The more the bells are no the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. Why are you still awake by this time? I'm waiting for Nathan. <sighs> you mean he's not back yet? He's not. <sighs> so why are you still waiting for him? Why don't you go inside and sleep? No, I want to be here when he when he returns. I yeah, you want to be here? Why? What for? I want to see him. You see, you women, 
You women are the reason why men take you for granted. You see his father, he respected me a lot because I don't give him the chance to ride me. Go inside and go and sleep. He's not a kid. He will come back. No, oh, please. I'm not ready to sleep. I don't feel like sleeping. I'm not sleepy at all. Then go out. Go inside. Dress well. Dress nice. Go to the club. Go and have fun. Mama. Don't mama me. Mama. Don't mama me. That is the only way to be happy. If not, you will stay here, you will have heart attack, and you will die premature. Oh, Mama, please, I can't do that. I can't even imagine myself in a club right now. Okay. Stay and be waiting for him now. How can husband and wife lack decency and morals? Look at the time you're coming back, 1.30 a.m. Oh, not tonight. I'm tired. Not tonight. Don't shock me, your Biko. See how you want to use your hand to destroy your own home. Now it's beginning to affect your wife. Huh, wife, can we not talk about my wife tonight? You should you come back by 1.30. She comes back by 1 a.m. No, are you saying my wife is not home at this, at this time? She just got back by 1 a.m. You're coming back by 1.30 1, 1 a.m. She just got back. She went out. See, so total. You need to see what she was wearing. She was dressed like a prostitute. Oh, you can't go now. She just got back by 1 a.m. And you're coming in by 1.30 a.m. What is going on? I get it. She just got in. And you are walking in. I pray for peace of mind. Amen. The more the bells are no, the more peace. Welcome. How are you? I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't, don't try it. Just answer the question. Where were you? What, 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 hold on. What you, you think I wouldn't know? I've been here waiting for you to return. Liar! Stop lying to me, Cindy. You're lying. What, you think I wouldn't find out? When did you start lying to me? Why? Huh? Hold on. Where's this rubbish coming from? I have been here, I've been at home, waiting for you to come back. I see. I get it. So, so, so this is what you do now, right? That's why you don't even care when, I, when, when I'm out. You don't care. You don't, you don't care to do nothing. You don't care. Why? Because you have your own agenda, agenda by, by the side. That's not true. I have been at home waiting for you to return. So then who is this person that you have become? I don't even know you anymore, Cindy. I don't know you. Are you serious right now? Mom, good morning. Good morning. You're going to work early today. Yes, something important I need to take care of. Okay, come and have a bit of breakfast. Breakfast is ready. See you later, Mom. Okay, then. Don't mind him. Eat your food. Don't let this man start manipulating you with their shakara. You know what? In fact, don't cook for him again. Pack your things and move to the other room. Just watch, he will be the one coming to beg you. I'm telling you something that will work for you. I'm, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. You need to tell her everything you just said about the husband. In fact, I want you to tell her that you saw them coming out from the hotel. Ah, no, no, mama. It was actually a boutique I saw them coming out from. I know! But you have to say something, something that will make it worse. Tell her, 
Tell her it's not the first time you're seeing them coming out from the hotel. That you always see them and she's always with different women. I want you to say something that will really, that will really catch fire in that house. And what if she doesn't believe me? You make her believe you. Make her believe you. Right now, her husband is angry with her. When she, when she believes you, she, she will not be angry with her husband. Then in that case, two of them, there will be problem in that house. And that is what I want. I How? want trouble in that house. How? Belinda, use your brain now. Come on, use your brain. How nice. Please let, me. let me tell you something. Now that the husband is angry with her, if she's angry at her husband as well, two of them will drift apart. And that will separate them for life. Which is what I want. I want to separate this, those two people. I need to separate them. Hmm. You actually have a plan. I think you're right. Cindy, at first I didn't want to tell you. Because I just felt it might tear your family apart. But again, I thought about it and my conscience could not let me keep it to myself. I need to talk to you about it before it gets too late. Please, you need to calm down. Me calm down? Yes, you need to calm down, Cindy. Please, don't allow this to break you down. It's not your fault that you have a husband who has been cheating on you. Look at you. You're still beautiful, young. Please, you need to walk out of this before it gets too late for you. I am not mad at my husband right now. I am mad at you, Belinda. Seriously? So this is what I get for coming here to give vital information to a friend? If at this age I don't know who my friends are, then I am a big fool. Belinda, you need to learn to mind your business. <laughs> hey, this is getting really serious. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Cindy. So I came here to speak to you about your cheating husband. And this is all I get, right? Instead of you taking my advice to tame your cheating husband. No, 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 no. You tame yourself, Belinda. Yes, I know my husband cheats. But he comes home to me every single day. He loves and respects me and that is enough for me. Maybe, just maybe you need to beam your unsolicited searchlight into finding a man you can call your own. Don't you ever beam your light at my husband again. Get out. I should get out? Me? Me, Belinda? Get out of your house, Cindy. Belinda, next time you see my husband with another woman, or hear of my husband with another woman, don't tell me. I am not interested. Mind your business. Cindy? Yes! Yes, I am happy in my marriage. Okay? He treats me like a queen. My husband is not a saint, and I would never have married a saint in the first place. So that devil I know is better than the angel that I do not know. If you don't mind, I am a very, very busy married woman. I have things to do upstairs. Get out. Um, Bariga! See her to the gate. Cindy, really? I beg, I beg. I don't want to touch anybody. I don't want to beat anybody. They go out now to the gates. They go now. They go. They go, they go. Careful of the women they take to boutiques to shop for and the ones they take to hotels as well because they can kill and we have a long list of people that have died already. What are you talking about? Someone is talking to my wife. I know it. 
I know it. She wouldn't be bothered if she wasn't talking to someone. I know. How sure are you that she is not investigating you? It's my wife. I know her. I've lived with her for years. I, I, look, if she wouldn't be so perturbed if she wasn't getting some kind of information from somebody. What's going on? I need to know. Then who could that be? I don't know. I would have to investigate to, to find out who that person is. You should be among her friends now. Oh, well then. And you will have to help me find out. What friend? And from where? Just be careful. Before you complicate things for yourself. Right. Thank you. Bariga. Come. Who amongst your madam's friends um, came here the last time? Who amongst them? Are you okay. repeating after me? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Now the parrot too. What are you talking about? Who's a parrot? That one we tall, we black, we get hips, we get key leg. Ha! Oh God! If you see the way she they carry shaking ash for year, one day I go come meet for this gate one day. If you see anya sugar, hey, oh God, you go like her. Keep quiet. Take your mind out of the gut I have told you. Stop having dirty thoughts towards the people that come here. If you feel that you need a woman around you, go to your place, bring your wife. Because if you carry on this way and sexually assault anyone here, I'm going to stand back and watch them take you to prison. Do you hear me? Take your mind out of the gutter and behave yourself. Open the gate. Okay, sir. Belindo Zakara, what have I done to you? Why are you telling me? I don't go fit carry my wife come here. Don't go spoil her for me. But you see that madam friend, I go catch her one day. You see that? I go catch her one day. Are you sure you came here to warn me? Or you want something else? Listen, listen, my friend. If you want something else, who knows? I might grant your request. And apparently, my house is very conducive for anything whatsoever. So talk to me. What can I possibly want from a person like you, Belinda? What? I'm here to ask you to leave my family alone. Stop feeding my wife with negative information about me. Stop it. Me? Fed your wife with negative information? Come on, Nathan. You think I'm that jobless? Huh? Are you saying that you did not say anything at any point to my wife? Come on, Nathan. Why do you think I'll say anything to your wife? Huh? You know I like you a lot. And I wouldn't want to hurt you. Huh? Find this person. If it wasn't you, then find this person. Help me. Help me find this person who constantly feeds my wife with negative information about me. Help me. Now you're talking, Nathan. Now you're talking. If you need my help with anything, you know I'm always here to help you. Okay? I'm going to help you, but for now, can you just sit down? Let me get you something to eat, okay? I said, sit down, let me get you something to eat. Stop! Stop. 
Stop throwing yourself on me. Nathan, stop taking my hands away. Let's just do this. Nobody will find out, okay? Oh. What is wrong with you? Well, you think I came here to play? When are you going to stop throwing yourself around me? It won't happen. It's never going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Coward. Who do you think you are, Nathan? Who do you think you are? Oh, 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 you think I don't know you? I know everything about you. You've been going around town, messing around with all these nasty women. And for your information, I am the one that told your wife everything. Yes. You did, huh? Yes, I did. Belinda, do it one more time. Do it one more time. And I will kill you. You? <laughs> you, Nathan, kill me? <laughs> what a joke. You are such a big joke. Stay off my case. You hear me? Stay off my case. Don't say I didn't want you now. You Stay away from me. You are just lucky that that stupid friend of mine fell in love with you. You don't deserve her, Nathan. Huh. So arrogant. You should be pleased that I'm giving myself to you. You're scaring me with that look. Do you have plans of killing me or running off with your novel? God forbid, which boyfriend? Do you have plans of taking my life and running off with your new boyfriend? I ask you again. Which boyfriend? So you can't remember? Or just that you have too many of them? God forbid. You know that I don't have any boyfriend. I can't be with any man but you. So why are you hiding this individual from me? That was a mistake. I thought you trusted me. I trust you and that's why we're talking. That's why we're having this conversation. Because I, I trust you enough to know that you cannot cheat on me. But you hiding and keeping things from me worries me. So what is going on? I didn't want you to blow it out of proportion. I, I, I knew that I could handle it. I wanted to do it my way. And I, and I handled it. <laughs> See where has left me. Right, you see, you see, you see how that gets me feeling. All right, you should have told me still. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's not I... keep secrets, baby. It's not our style. I'm sorry. I won't keep any more secrets from you. I'm sorry. I'm scared, though. All right. You you scaring me with that look. Don't hurt me, please. I can't live without you. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I can't live without you. I can't. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, stop! No, stop! 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 It looks like you're going to your shop today. That, that's really nice. That's quite impressive, you know. What's going on here? It's a day of work. I'm having quality time. You mean both of you don't have anything good to do with your time? Ah, uh, no, Mom. Oh, the it's thing a... is, we are all bosses, so we um, we decided to take the day off and spend the day Yeah, off yeah, have quality, some quality time. You know, it's a day of work. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Who are you to talk? You are now NTA, BBC or CNN. Who asked you? Just so you see it. You know that wasn't for you, right? Absolutely. Where was I? B -b -b Stop. No. Oh. Where was I? I was trying to say that you, know, you cannot get people to love you if you don't love yourself first.
to prepare dinner. Why are you sitting out here pressing food? Oh, my husband is in the kitchen. He's making dinner. You said? Yes, he sometimes he likes to spoil me a little by going into the kitchen and making food. So now he's asking me to relax while he makes dinner. Hey! Abomination. You mean you allow your husband to cook in the kitchen? Why you sit out here to press phone? But mama, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Shut up! Oh, shut up! What do you mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with that? Not as if you have any child you're taking care of. I don't even know why you're so happy as a barren woman. Mama! I don't understand. Don't mama me. I am not your mother. If you feel insulted that I called you a barren woman, then provide me an evidence that you're not a dry land. No, provide it! Yeah. Stop crying, it's fine. Listen, Mama will have to leave first thing tomorrow morning, but like, you can continue this way. No, 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 you, you can't send her out of my own account, please. Don't can't you send your mother out of your own house. Don't. No, but, but, but she's been nothing but trouble since she came here. Let her... Don't worry, don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm not crying again. I'm Babe, okay. you're not fine. Okay? Can she not be normal for once? Huh? It's okay, but... Okay, okay, okay. You're not, you're crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My home is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My boy, my boy. I believe. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh, don't leave me. Yeah. In any number of I'd like to have a word with you. Honestly, Mom, I don't know how. I don't know how to say this because I have said it countless times, Mom. Please, respect my marriage, respect my wife. Why would you call my wife barren, Mom? She's not barren. Please, for as long as you're here with us, do not call my wife barren. She's not barren. I don't like it. Okay. If she's not barren, why hasn't she given you a child? A woman is married and cannot give birth to a child. That woman is barren. How the tables turn very fast, Mom. You have suddenly forgotten that you walked down the same path. How long did it take you to have me after you married my father? Did you forget, mom, that you waited for so many years? Have you suddenly forgotten how it feels when everyone expects you as a woman to come through with a child? And it's not happening yet. No one humiliated you like this. No one called you barren, mom. I don't think so. So please, stop. Because you can't stop if you want to stop, mom. My wife is not barren. See, let me tell you. That emotional blackmail won't work on me. No, it won't work. Your father was not the only son. He has other siblings that their children can continue their lineage. Your case is different. You are my only son. Please, leave my wife and I alone. She's going to have a child. When the time comes, a child would come. Please, please, please. I won't leave you alone. I won't. You are my only son. Get that into your skull. I promise you, very soon, your eyes will open. 
How can you choose that bad luck of a wife over your own mother? How? I won't let you. Your eyes will open very soon. I'm, I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more the bears are no more. Peace of mind. I'm, I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more the bears are no more. I can't allow this. No way. I can't allow it. I will do whatever it takes to send Sydney out of this house. I will do it. Uh -huh. Mamuju, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Please, I need your help. I need a direction to that man's place. That man you went to where your husband was misbehaving. I need his directions. It's not what I can start saying on the phone. Just send me the direction to his place. I want to go there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Sydney. Let's see how you can escape this. <laughs> I'm serious, it's not a joke. Wait, wait. I'm telling you. Wait, wait. Ah, let's wait. Oh. Wait, wait. You mean you mean you've been actually running from women? Like they want to pull your trousers and you're like, oh, wait, please wait, I, I I don't like it. You mean that? But why would I run? How am I sure that someone didn't send them? No, how we said it that someone did not send them? Who did? Well, okay, how do you explain the fact that a woman is pressuring a man to sleep with her? No, no, that's not how it works. It's the other way around. Look at this one. Yeah, that is, I'm telling you. Wait, 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 wait. Is it because you've been paying for sex? Oh, you don't even know that there are so many women out there looking for men to sleep with them, to service them. You I don't am, know. I'm not that kind of man. Let them look elsewhere. I'm not that kind of man. Let them leave me alone. There was a fun in it. Oh. oh yeah, what's the fun? Listen, the fun in this thing is the chase. Do you understand? I see. The follow-up, the chase, the constant chase. You focus, you focus to the day you slap the person. Then you know you have conquered. That's the beauty of it. You know what, Nathan? Yeah. You know you're my very good friend. Uh-huh. Next time they come after you, mm. please do not hesitate to send them my way. You know. <laughs> Send to who? Me, of course. You? Nah, you have expired. I'll send to a guy that needs it. You, you have expired. You have overused yourself. <laughs> At this rate, my brother, you are going to end up living with a mermaid. Relax. How did you know? Listen, my brother, I need to have a test of it. <laughs> you see, I lost cause. <laughs> it's pointless talking to you. <laughs> no way. You know I'm not going to allow that to happen to me. Maybe it's only Belinda that can allow that. Uh-huh. Talking about Belinda. Has anyone called her? Why is she not here yet? Yeah, about that. I called her the other day to know if she was coming to meet us. And she asked where we were going to meet. And I told her here. Yeah, she said she can make it. It's been nothing cold lately. My dear, don't bother yourself about Belinda. You know what? Your mother-in-law came to report you the other day to us. And she was busy supporting her. My mother-in-law called you and had tell me about it. Am I not talking to both of you? We're well, sorry for not telling you. We felt it might affect you. That's why we didn't tell you. Sorry. Text me. Yeah. Do I look like an illiterate to both of you? There is nothing I can't comprehend. Start spilling it. What did you want? Yes, so. I just finished a reasonable meeting with Madame Vero and you will not believe what I'm about to tell you. Can you believe that she asked me to name a price so that I'll leave her son for her? She claims her late husband left her a lot of money, but I know that's a lie. <laughs> I beg Noma, let's leave that matter and discuss something else. I told her that I cannot leave my husband for anything in this world. <laughs> yes, now. Uh -huh. Of course. 
So did you pick it up? Absolutely. Yes, I love the pink one. I'm sorry, Madam Verube, you're confusing me. I was with you on this because I wanted Cindy to leave her husband alone. I did all I did because she has been married and I'm not. And I didn't want to look like the only failure among my friends. But now that you've decided to involve diabolic powers, I'm sorry, but I'm officially signing out from all this. What I'm saying is that I don't want to involve myself with native doctors. Actually, I've decided to leave Cindy alone. And if you don't want to do the same, that's your business, but I am out. Thank you. Hey, Madame Vero, when is she ever going to stop? Mom, you're still around. I thought you left. Your wife told you to send me away. Mom, why would my wife? Mom, you know what? Welcome back, okay? We don't want you away. Nobody wants to send you away. We just haven't seen you all day. Uh, this has nothing to do with my wife. It's not my fault to think that you want to send me out of your house. I don't know what is happening anymore. You don't love me. You don't listen to me. You despise me. Mom. You hate me. No, no. I don't know. Mom, don't talk like that. Right, I have no reason in the world to despise you. You're my mother. And I love you. Are you sure? Yes, Mom, I love you. Huh? Have you forgotten that you're my first wife? Then treat me like one. Mom, I already treat you good, but I need you to accept the second wife. That way, we all can live peacefully here. Over my dead body. Never. your food. It's so nice. Can I try some? Sure. Oh. Mm. 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 It's delicious. Mm. I need to try more of this. I need, I need to eat more of these delicious meals because I know I won't find them in Paris when I get there. Paris? Yes. My husband and I are going on our second honeymoon. <laughs> I mean, my son wants to take you to Paris for his second honeymoon. Absolutely. We're going to spend three whole weeks. How can I will have to make this boy understand that I give birth to him? Mama, your food. Should I finish it? She has forced you to take all the money you've been gathering all these years to take her to Paris. Why don't you open your eyes to see she is not what you think? Listen to me, I'm your mother. I'm listening to you, mom. But I just can't make sense of what you're saying about my wife, mom. That's my wife. That woman has contributed to my growth. 
She got me the link to the first big contract. I give me my break in life, mom. What else do you want? What? Is it not time we, we treat her nice? Eh? It's a lie. Fat lie. You would have been a better person if you hadn't met that evil woman from that professional school you attended after your graduation. Mom, do you know that Cindy helped me land the contract with Anambra State Government to construct the new Anambra International Market? And as we speak, she is designing that project. Can you not see that this girl is just about my growth? Look, Mom, I understand that you don't like my wife. But for my sake, I'm your son, Mom. You cannot love me and despise my wife. Find something in that girl. No matter how small, find something. Just maybe we can start from there. There's nothing to like. There is something to like. There's nothing. Open your eyes, mom. Nothing. There is nothing to like about her. There is nothing. She's a woman from Omogama. And women from Omogama, they naturally represent backwardness and stagnation. There's nothing to like about her. Let me tell you, if you ignore me and travel to Paris, I swear, I will kill myself before you come back. Try me. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the no the more. Peace of mind. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the no the more. Peace of mind. Ay ay ay. Hello? Why were you not picking your calls? Fine. I'm going somewhere very far tomorrow. I want you to come and take me. I will pay for the whole day. Yes. Okay then. Bye bye. So you just exactly, you know. Sometimes when 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 it becomes constant, it's abuse. Massage I'm massaging you now, babe. It was only one leg I had. But babe, I started with this one now. Eh? Do it again. Babe, you're going to turn me to a professional masseuse. Uh, is it bad? You know I can pay for a session for you. I don't want so, so. to touch my leg. <laughs> Must it be a man? <laughs> ah, mama. Mama, you're leaving. Ah, mama, you didn't tell us you're leaving. What's going on? How is that your business? As if you care. You've been planning with your wife to send me away. Let me live with my dignity before you disgrace me. But mama, nobody's chasing you away now. Really? You think you have won, right? You're the one chasing me instead of me chasing you. Don't worry. Very soon, you will know. Listen, mom, you, you don't have to live this way. We're not fighting. You have made your choice. Leave me, let me go and die. Uh, who's talking Please. about dying now? Mama. Mama. Sit. Sit. Relax, 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 relax. It's fine. Sometimes some space is also good. Okay? Yeah. It's fine. Trust me. Woman, you want your son to chase his wife away because of a girl called Sandra. Yes. Just do this for me and I'll be so glad to pay you whatever you want. How much do you know this Sandra of a girl? Well, I know her very well. To know that she's what my son wants. Mm. Woman. Your son's wife has a better spirit than this girl called Sandra. Well, I can't argue with you. 
I know where you're driving at. But the thing is, I want you to do something to separate them. I don't want her for my son. I'm not going to curse somebody that the gods has not even cursed. Chukukika Biamma. It has nothing to do with this care. But, please, I'm telling you, go home, find a way, reconcile with your son's wife. She has a better spirit, despite the fact of all that you have done to her. Let me tell you, I came here prepared. Whatever it will cost, I'm ready to pay. <laughs> Woman, my name is Obuebono. Okeke Obako. I don't have anything to do with your money. I don't need your money. But all I'm telling you, please go home. Find a way and reconcile with your son's wife. My mama, man, I can't I pray for peace of mind. Amen to man, amen to all of Peace of mind. My mama, man, I can't I pray for peace of mind. I'm not going to curse somebody that the gods has not even cursed. Chukuke Kabiyama. It has nothing to do with this care. But, please, I'm telling you, go home, find a way, reconcile with your son's wife. She has a better spirit, despite the fact of all that you have done to her. Who is he to tell me what I must do? I am giving you one more chance. Don't mess it up for me. Listen, just listen. I will send you all the details you need for this job. You go to her like a client. Schedule a business meeting with her. Make sure you get her in a compromised position. I don't care how you do it. Just do whatever you can do. Even if you have to drug her, do it. This is your last chance. Yeah. Oh, really? You would not regret doing business with us. Oh, what hotel is that? Okay, oh, fine, great. See you tomorrow. All right, thank you. Babe, mm -hmm. did I tell you about the um the meeting I have at the hotel tomorrow? Why the hotel? Why not my office? Ah, oh, because it involves a lot of people. So the company decided I would do it there. But it's fine. I don't have a lot, you know, scheduled for tomorrow. We we, we can have it at night. No, it's fine. I can handle it for now. You sure? Okay. Call me up tomorrow when you need me then. Sure. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I feel like kissing. Come on, kiss. So come on, kiss. Lie him. down. Come on, kiss. Him. Kiss will not kill you. Come on, kiss. Him. Oh my god. How old are you? Hey, guy. Where you did? I did road now. I did come. Is she around? Not yet. I hope you're dressed like a businessman. Yes, trust me. You just have to be smart, okay? Hurry up. My G. Okay. What's up, bro? How are you doing? Ah, uh, where is the babe? She's on her way. Okay. okay. You know what you're playing as? You're my PA. Our company is building an estate, okay? Yeah, so just to relax. Uh, no while and as long as he pays, bro. Uh, no shaking. I need to um, use the restroom. I did press. I right. did come.
Yeah. You must be Onyema. You have seen the right? Yes, I am. You're welcome. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. So, um, we're here now, so I'm just going to ask. Guy, that babe in a bad market, leave that place now, come and meet me at the bar behind you. Just leave the place now, meet me at the bar behind you. Oh, okay, fine, I've heard you. Oh, okay, I'll meet you up later. Okay. Okay, so where are the others? Uh, something came up, right? They're not here right now, okay? I, I have an emergency. Oh, there's no problem. <laughs> Everything is okay, but I, I think I have an emergency. I think I'll meet you at the office tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Okay. Are you sure that ladies won't come back here? For what? Silly does not have such time. You mean that woman is a mother-in-law? Why is she using the boot of us? Why? I wonder what she wants to achieve. Maybe she's trying to know if the lady is capable of cheating. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. From what she told me, and what she asked me to do to her, I think she wants to set her up. She wants to set her up so that her son will chase her away. That woman is very heartless. But why is she doing something like that to her? The fact still remains that Cindy is a very nice person, calm and respectful. You see this woman, I will teach her the lesson of her life. So what do you think we should do? What do we do? What is my beautiful wife doing all caged up in this room? I thought you said that you... You had this appointment with the doctor, Dr. Gladys. Hmm? Today is the happiest day of my life. Okay. What happened? But, but what's going on? But talk to me. Find out for yourself. Are you okay? You're shaking. Find out. Hold on, hold on, it would happen. I told you, told you. Thank you, baby. Congratulations. I would love you for the rest of my <laughs> life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking at me like that, I know you don't want me to go, but I have to go. Baby, you know you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. The older the wine, the better, I know. You can say that again. Now I know what that means. <laughs> Is that why you want to break my waist? <laughs> I have to go now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to go alone. All right. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Take care.
She is gone. I saw her leaving. How is she? Amazing woman. Go check your candle. A woman who is doing everything possible to destroy her daughter-in-law is actually the cheap slot that could be laid in just two days of talking to. I will give her an overdose of her own medicine. You are the guru in the game. So what are you planning to do? Hello, my son. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, Mom. I have good news. Wow, let's hear it. You finally found out that your mother has been telling you the truth and you have sent that witch away, right? I'm not sending her away, Mother. The good news actually is that she is pregnant, Mom. What? Yes, Mom. Cindy is, is pregnant. You know, you are going to be a grandmother soon. Congrats to her. How? How did that happen? How on earth did she get pregnant? Pregnant? Hello, Mamuju. Madam Vero, how could you stoop so low to disgrace yourself and your entire family? As old as you are, eh, Madam Vero? You are a disgrace to womanhood. What is wrong with you? Why are you talking to me like that? I ever regret calling you my friend, Madam Vero. Your nude pictures and videos are all over the internet. Go and you will find it there. Need what? How can? How? You need to calm down. You see, your mother that you know cannot do a thing like this. So we need to calm down in order to get the truth out of her. It's fine. Thanks for the wise counsel, but we're here. Let's let's, let's see. to destroy a good woman I destroyed myself I made myself to be caught in the act I lacked the face to continue <laughs> Don't leave me, please. 
Don't leave me, my morning star, the air I breathe. Don't leave me, don't leave me. I'll be more, hold your mind, yeah. The voices that are speaking in a home will be a truth. When it shall overcome, this love will never stop. Please hear me out, I will never let you go. My love